these um, little glassine bags and I needed to do a tutorial on these. They came out really stinking cute. So I'm just going to focus on a quick little rundown tutorial on how to alter these. And just basically a lot of little scraps, cheesecloth, vintage images, um, gesso. And these are actually glassy bags, but you can also use wax paper to make your little uh, glassy bags as well. So just little tidbits, buttons, uh, paper doilies, scraps of laces and yummies to make beautiful little um, inserts for your junk journals. And basically, this right here, you, as you can see, it's like a little sleeve. And it's a little cute little added embellishment. Now, this one kind of fell off of this here, so I'm just going to tuck it underneath all this. Ooh, there. Hello, Janet. I need it. Thank you so much for the little um, gift you sent me. I appreciate that. I was a little under the weather yesterday. Um, hey, Brianna, do me a quick favor, baby girl. Buy my dresser. There's an envelope that came in the mail yesterday. Up so I can see what Janet sent me. She was being sneaky. So... These are just cute, and these are little cute. We make them for little gift bags as well. Um, and so basically just use lots of little scraps to make little gift bags or um, inserts for your junk journals, which is what um, I like, is that you can use all your little scraps to make cute little embellishments. Dormi, fíjate que dormí bastante. Um, llegué, salimos a cenar, bueno, no fue cenar, salimos a un late lunch porque llevé a la nena, um, fuimos a Austin y la nena quería a, a comer una comida china. Y eso me cayó como una bomba otómica. Uf, un dolor que todavía siento el dolor en el estómago. Y para no sentirlo tan grave como lo sentía me dije me voy a acostar porque esto me tiene me tenía mal me tenía horrible I can't find it but I can't move the bed it's by the bed yeah. that's like good on top the dresser is it on the edge kitchen counter I know I grabbed it yesterday and came in and I was just I was so out of it I was so so out of it I mean it was like horrible pain I felt nauseous, quería vomitar, quería de todo, como que me, me, se me revolcó el mundo. Y me fue que me comí una cocolía, una jaiba. Ay, mira, tengo hasta las uñas tan horribles. Y eso me cayó como una, parece que estaba mala la carne. Y yo se boca. Well, anyway, that was for, it smelled funny, the, like, I went to put the, fork up to my mouth and it kind of smelled rancid and I was like maybe it's just me being you know finicky I bit into it oh my god I felt like I was gonna puke all over the place anyway so there's just random little bags that you can do and you can use them for gift bags or for little um tucks for your junk journals or your albums it's seven here. Acá son las seis, seis, siete de la mañana. Seis, siete. Seis de la mañana. Imagínate tú, yo despierta aquí porque me levanté y le dije a la nena, voy a hacer un video porque me lo han pedido. Ay, pero voy a hacer, voy con ese estómago, la boca del estómago la tengo mal. And so say, um, I did these little snippet trims that you can clip and use them for your paper clips. Think about no. Déjame un momentito que tengo la gata aquí que me tiene mal.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, these are really cute for your paper clips, and you can just snip them whenever you want and attach them to your paper clips. They're really cute. So, we did those on Fridays. Okay, on Fridays. Mira yo. All right. So, here's wax paper. You're like me, you like shabby sheep, right? And I just cut my wax paper to about eight and a half by 11. I'm just gonna trim some of this, fold it in half and trim it. Like, I like vintage shabby sheep and boho. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit of both. I'm gonna trim off any. Maybe we can make this smaller because I got a little big old bag. I want something a little bit smaller. So let's cut it in half. This way I'm going to line that a little bit better. Cut off all the extras. And this is just wax paper. Like, I still feel nauseous, like my head's still kind of, I don't know. My husband, I must have gotten food poisoning. Something, something came over me. It was horrible. You do everything and anything. You're like me. I'm a jack of, jack of all trade and master of none. I don't consider myself master of none because, of course, I like to do a little bit of everything. And if you do, and you try to say you're a master of this and a master of that, at the end of the day, you're a master of none. <laughs> so I try to say I'm not a master of nothing because I like it all. I'll dabble, oh my God, I'll dabble with um, mixed media. Um, I'll just dabble with a little bit of everything. So you can make a smaller glassine bag. I saw one that we got at the Chinese restaurant. It was about this size. Maybe a tad bit. Yeah, I don't consider myself the master of nada. No me gusta decir I'm a master of one particular because I like to dabble with everything. I'll dabble with um I'm just gonna make a small one. You can't find it? No, I think you left it Oh I must have left it in the car. I was just not feeling good. Oh my god, it was like it came into me and I ran in the house when I got home. And we stopped by the mailbox, and I saw the package, and I sent Isabel a message, and I was just not feeling it. I think everybody was just when they get the We were, I think we all got food. Some, something, we, something from that Chinese restaurant. We're not going anymore. <laughs> no way. Okay, so this is just a small little tad, little one that you can do. Do the same thing over here. Seriously, that food just did not agree with me. It was good and all, but it was good, but there was something, something nasty about it. That did not. We can make a little smaller one. Do I want one that small? Let's a small one like that. Put little tickets in this one. I'm not in my stomach. It's not feeling good. So. I literally feel like I want to throw up. Sorry, I'm looking down. Kevi, say hi, Dalia. Not a master of nothing. I'm learning and I love, and I'm in love in the place that I am. Right, 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 right. I'm on my way to work. I get to listen to you guys before I drive in. What are you, where, where are you, on Sunday? Are you, where do you work, Dalia? All right. Let's see. 
Okay, I'm just trying to make a smaller one for like um, tickets. It's just a little wax paper, and I'm, I'm not wanting to pull out my scoreboard, as you can tell. I'm just good at that paper pulling out tools. Pull out my paper cutter because I hate things to be wonky. Okay, so I'll do little skinny ones like that. Let's not waste any of this and stuff. Cuesta dinero. Y si cuesta dinero, no se puede borrar. Barnes and Noble Bookstore. Oh, I thought they were. Are those still open? Yes, they are. They are? They have one here for free. Really? I thought those closed down. Like her, around here, they closed a big majority of those. They closed Hastings. Yeah, they closed the Hastings. Yeah. Okay. So you guys get the legits of it. I keep my little card here. You're just going to grab your glue. I'm going to use fabric tuck. 30 years? You've been working there for 30 years? Oh my gosh. Have you really been working there for 30 years, Dalia? Okay, I'm going to fold this one down here. Yes, ma'am. Wow, that is awesome. 30 years in one place. Girl, you should retire now. Girl, you know what I was about to say? You just ratted yourself out. <laughs> How old are you, Dahlia? <laughs> I love the tijeras. You like the tijeras? Aren't those nice? I like the tijeras. Although um, I was laughing because I saw Isabel's um, video of the tijeras you sent her. And I'm like, oh my God, I have a tijera obsession too. I briefly saw it. I didn't see that she was live. 48 years young. Amen, sister. Amen. I'm 48 years young too. That's right. All right, so we're going to leave that, and we can probably give this a little bit of um, a snip, but we'll leave it like that so that we can use it for tickets, or we can make it for um, stamps or a little ephemeris. I'll send her the Martha Stort. Yes, I sent her the Martha Stort and the, the Tam. I love. See, and I, I like... Like I can, like this Tam, I'm not, because uh, it's got the serrated edge, then you got to remember to flip it so you don't get the serrated edge because one side is serrated and one side is not. And you know, when you pick it up out of your stack, you don't know, okay, so do I have, when you first pick it out, is it serrated, is it not serrated? So I hate that. Um, what about these? are my longest lasting scissors. These are from Stampin' Up! when I used to sell Stampin' Up! years ago. And then my Tams, I gave the red ones to my husband because I hated the serrated. I can't stand the serrated. I can't. Mm -mm. I can't stand it. Then I got all my fabric scissors and all that. 
You're not a fan. Oh, good. I'm not the only one. Did you see? Have you guys been paying attention to um, uh, Creativation? I've been paying attention to it, and I have to honestly say, now this one, I'm making it because I can make it for in my purse. There's this little thing I got from the Chinese restaurant, and I like the way they had their glassine. So this one's about two and one quarter, two and a quarter by once I folded it, sorry, by six. So if I open it up, it's five, uh, four and three quarters by six. And I'm just going to fold these up. But you guys been paying attention to the creativation. You're doing your list. Now, I did like his glaze. Love his glaze. I'm going to do my nails. That's kind of grody. Um, I love his glaze. I thought that was awesome. I was not a fan of the Prima stuff because I don't like cutesy stuff. Like I'm not a fan of cutesy stuff. Um, I didn't. I don't like because with Copa being such a big issue now, um, you know we got to be careful what we put out in our video contents. I'm gonna fold it this way. I think it'd be easier. I do it this way first. I'm doing about a half inch fold. I eyeball it. And so I think that they came out with too many little kiddish stuff that could possibly flag us. And so I thought, well, that's a little dangerous for some of us, some of us YouTubers. And I try not to get that stuff. My kids, when my girls were little, I would get things like that. But Rihanna's not into that stuff anymore. Like some of the new Prima papers that came out has um, Aloha. I didn't like that Aloha collection. I'm not into that stuff. They got a lot of little cutesy papers now. And there was a time. Oh, yes, I know you. There was a time you were you liked that kind of stuff. Um, oh, the plastic. See, here's my thing on that plastic mold machine. The We Are Memory. Do you remember when We Are Memory was snip this little here, angle it off, or miter? Do you remember when um, We Are Memory came out with the sewing machine? And of course, I was one of those that came out and bought it because I had to have it. Well, guess what? When I got it, because supposedly it did uh, twine. <laughs> Hi, Helene. How are you? Excuse me, young lady. It's not the middle of the night. You're part of the planet. Good morning, early afternoon for from me. What are you making? Okay, so I'll show you here in a minute what I'm making. But yes, good love, good morning, lovely lady. We're making, um, these are little glassine bags that you can use for gifts or for your junk journals. And I just kind of altered a couple. It's all over the internet. I'm not creator of it, but I had fun making some of these, and I said I was going to do a quick tutorial of it. And I didn't um, want to record it because my camera's acting up. Um, I get the the software for Logitech; it glitches and it pauses, so I was having too many issues, so I went live. So these are little glassine pockets that you can use for your junk journals or your albums. Oh. And so that's what we're making. And I just, this one, I took a piece of wax paper that I coffee dyed. And I got my daughter here who's, so we just use wax paper to make that. Okay. Anyway, let me see. I'm not into cartoon. Yeah, me either. I'm not into cartoons. And that's what they came up with. I, I just didn't, I didn't like what they came up with. I know you love cartoons because you're a kid still. But yeah, I don't think you would have liked the stuff that they had come out with. Like, it's kind of dangerous for us to, the stuff that they came out with, Prima, it's kind of dangerous for us. We're saying hi, Brianna. She's soft-spoken, so she said, well, I don't know why you're being soft-spoken, because you're not normally soft-spoken. Because you're tired. 
Anyway, I saw the We Are Memory Keeper when they came out with that sewing machine and they said it was so wonderful for twine. I went and jumped on and got that sewing machine and I got it and um, no, it wasn't. I like to let this dry and once it dries, I come back with my rubber eraser and I kind of remove some of that adhesive to clean it up a little. And these are really good for, even if you have like a small little tag, um, you can insert it in there and pop it into your, one of your journals. So there's that one. She's shy, huh? She's not, she really isn't shy. She's pretending to be shy. She's pretending to be shy. Around us, she's not. Well, she's shy around people because she doesn't know, but around us, she's really. You call her the, she swallowed a microphone. She's normally loud. The Puerto Rican in her. Um, but anyway, so back to that sewing machine. It, when I got it, it, the, 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 it was floss or thread. Very thin stuff. It was not a good sewing machine. I hated it waste of money and so now I'm wondering if this little um, mold making thing the plastic's got to be expensive because I, if I recall that thread for that new sewing machine first of all they didn't have it in the market yet the thread so you had to wait to get thread um, because the little samples that came with it wasn't suffice and then um, and it wasn't, um, it was light as a feather, it was so lightweight, that thing was just not worth the 200, I think it was like 289 or something when it first came out. So I bet you. You want it. I know everybody's wanting it, but I bet you it's not all that it's cracked up to be. I tell you, it's not. That plastic, I'm sure it's going to be expensive. Uh, I did like, like I said, I like the Tim Holtz with all his, um, all his uh, glaze that he's come out with, all the glaze stuff. Although I'm sure we can buy glaze, like Liquitex glaze and put some colors into it and make our own glaze stuff. I'm sure we can do that. And good morning to everyone that's joining me. Don't forget to hit the, the thumbs up. So I'm pretty sure we can make um, our own You like to wait eight months for the typecast after pay for it. Well, right now I know that like that Tim Holtz, I'm still stuck. I'm I'm stuck on the Tim Holtz paper cutter. You know, I, I just don't think a paper cutter that's eight and a half inches that um, what ha whatever happened with taking the back of your scissors or the edge of your table and distressing your papers. Um, yeah, it's pretty innovative. I just don't think $35 is innovative enough for me to go out and uh, I'll just keep using the back of my scissors to distress paper. Oh, my stomach. Ugh. Yeah. Are you crafting, um, Janet? Do you want to jump on the panel and craft along? I'm just crafting really quick. I, I should be doing my homework, but... Hi, Mama. I don't feel like doing homework at this moment. I'll do it later on in the afternoon. I was talking to Lourdes a little while ago. This one's a little bit on the wider side, so let's do it. Helene, I don't know if uh, you're subscribed to Janet's channel, but if you can, hover over her name and head on over to her channel and subscribe. She does beautiful stuff, and she actually has a challenge 
And if you like to do cards, you can do three cards with three layers and enter, but don't put any script or writing in the inside. Leave the inside blank so that she can use it for other things. I'm doing diamond painting. I'm not near the... Oh, diamond painting. Oh, my God. You and you and Isabel with the diamond painting. You guys have to have your... Um, you guys have to have good eye vision for that. I don't have patience for those little things. Uh, you just want people one? Well, no, because I have. Hello, mira. And I should have them on my head, but I, I don't. Because it keeps falling off my face, I gotta get them readjusted. Because I'm savage like that. Alrighty, sub. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you guys are sitting over there on the YouTube side of life, please make sure you grab each other up and subscribe to each other. Um, Janet has a wonderful channel, and she's got, like I was saying, she's got a challenge going on. Janet, if you want to put the link to your video where you do the challenge ex explaining, you can join. She's got, she does amazing stuff, guys. Head on over there. Okay, so you guys know I got all these wonderful stamps. I'm going to scan them, and I'm going to um, send you guys some of those links so you guys can have that. I just have to have time for all that this week to do. Mamita. I know. I hate the battery. You got in that little container over there, Mommy. I should have a thing called Stays on Ink. Black up here on the shelf, right where the, the computer screen is. In there. Open it up and see if I have a black ink pad. It says stays on. I don't know how to hear, but I guess I don't. Let's do archival. I want it black. Hello, Grandpa by Teresa. Hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I literally want to um, go pukey. Pukey, pukey. I do, I do. And I'm just using regular, this is archival ink. Make sure you guys subscribe to each other, show each other some love. Oh, this one's pretty cool because it's uh, the brown one. So you can see the music notes in there. Craft I don't know how I managed to lose things in this craft room. Probably because I'm so disorganized. It probably is in there. You just don't see it. No. Oh, I know, mommy. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry. Your mom is crazy in the cabeza. Thank you. It's over here, baby girl. I'm sorry. Brother has grabbed my paintbrushes and he destroyed them. And guys, again, um, grab each other up. Let's grab some of these. Grab each other's channel up, guys. If you don't mind doing that for me, I would really appreciate it. This is a Bow Bunny stamp. stays on so that it pops out a little bit more. It doesn't have to be super duper duper. Perfect. 
చేర్చాలి Super Trooper. Mm -hmm. Another thing I don't like about this rocking, because I gotta remember how to rock it. Don't rock it if you don't get the compression you want. I don't like that. Looks like an old newspaper print. Let me take some gesso and you can gesso it up. And I'm using a really rusty, dirty um, paintbrush that looks like it's seen its better days. Really should. It really should clean it, but I like the I like the grunginess of it. Forget thumbs up, yes, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs up. How are you, Teresa? Yeah, I really don't like this rocking. It might be good for other people, but I don't like it. What else did I like about creativations? I'm not happy about, like I said, I'm not happy about the Tim Holtz. I mean, not Tim Holtz, Prima's new stuff. I can live without that. Uh, oh, did you guys see um, you who does a lot of mixed media stuff, um, Teresa? Did you see um, Diane? She changed the bottles on her paints. Did you see that? You've been up all night crafting? Not me. I went to bed because I, I went to bed like what time did we get home? Like four? I don't know. Whatever time. Last time I talked to um, Isabel, um, I got home. I couldn't take my stomach. It was hurting so bad. I couldn't handle it. They're smaller and now she changed. I think that's a bunch of, watch everyone go run and get that. It's a bunch of hoopla. Yes, you're right, Brianna, a bunch of hoopla. I don't understand that. I really don't. It's the same stuff. They just changed the packaging. It's like, really, people? Didn't change anything. Just changed the packaging. Oops. to get them once my jars are done that's it yeah i um it, it's the colors that came out now are just neon oops neon colors i thought they were pretty ugly 
you guys to me. I don't understand, like Nami said, what the hoopla is. I would not spend money on her stuff. I'm sorry, I just won't. all clean your stamps after you use them. I need to get some baby wipes because I don't really like using the baby wipes to clean my stamp. I mean, I'm going to wipe this so that I can clean my stamps. You guys clean your stamps. I'm not really like per se finicky about, oh my God, I didn't clean my stamp. Like I won't, I won't be hurt if I didn't clean it immediately, especially when you're doing stays on. You do. I know like the stays on, I can imagine you, um, uh, Janet, you probably do, you, you clean it, you, you have OCD, right? I'm OCD about a lot of things and I do clean, clean my certain stamps, but when they're like in paints and stuff, it's kind of hard. Like the other night, I tried to it's really hard to tell myself, no, I don't need to clean it. No, I don't need to clean it. And I went and cleaned it because I couldn't. The thought of it being dirty kind of annoyed me that I was going to go to bed and leave my stuff dirty. But some of the acrylics, the impression is not as good after a couple times of you wiping, you start to wear it off. Posting that was not good. I always keep towels always by my side. I don't like my hands to be dirty. That I don't like. I wish there was a better way. Um, I know that you can get those little folders. Those folders are expensive to store your stamps. I'm surprised everyone's awake. I wasn't, I was just going to record really quick. I wasn't expecting anybody to join me. I thought everyone would be sleeping. I didn't think anybody was a night owl like me. 
Yes, I would go. little brush. Cold, waiting for heat to get working. Are you on your track? Over on your track. What they need to come up with is some little invention or gadget for us to clean our stencils. Right after each use. That's what they need to come up with. Like a little, I don't know, like a little thing that you can put in to clean up our stencils and stuff. Uh, I came to show some love. I woke up for a minute but need to get back to sleep. Try to show love. Thank you for the love, Mary. Very much appreciated, and you have a wonderful nap or sleep. I don't know what time it is where you are. So I think we're all in different time zones. Helene is um, connecting from, I want to say the Netherlands. I can't remember. Maybe it should be later, Helene. Hi, Clint. How are you, hon? You're up early. Do you typically get up this early, Clint? Yes, in my truck. Bunker heater, a time play dump. Ugh. And I'm sure that is not cool because you are um, in the East Coast and it tends to get colder. Well, that's not cool. Okay, so we've offered some glassine bags. Woohoo! <laughs> now I'm going to let these dry up. And what we do, and I have these that I got me. And these you can do some stamping and you can use them for washi tapes. And you can stamp little, I'm going to use this one right here. And this, I never throw these away because after so many usage, you can use and recycle it for your projects. All right, we've got a little washi tape that we can attach to something. You can run it through your Xyron machine and you got yourself a nice little washi tape. Same thing with this. If I want, I can put lots of little um, stamps run it through my Xyron and get washi tapes made and I just cut them into little strips and then you have your own washi tapes. Hi Angela, you want to jump in here? Hi Sandra, hi from Aussie. Almost, it's almost midnight, it's probably fall asleep. <laughs> Guys, hit each other up if you see each other on the chat hover over each other's names, and go ahead and subscribe to each other, show each other some love. The right way of doing that is, as me and Angela are talking, is you have to like their video, watch their video for five to 10 minutes, and leave a comment. That makes it uh, count. All right, you wanna jump in? I'll send you the link over on Facebook. We can, um, we can chit chat for a bit here and talk about some of these new products. I know you have your inputs on these new products. Okay, all right, so again, like I said, you can stamp on these um, wax papers. 
and run it through your Xyron and make your own washi tapes. And we'll do a video on that later. Let me, let me stamp these while I'm here. Sleep yet, baby girl? Yeah. Not ready to render? Huh? Not ready to surrender? No. We waste nothing here, guys. Nothing goes wasted. Okay, I'll give you a second. I sent you the link on Facebook. All right, so. Years ago, well, we're going to alter this, but years ago, I made an album, and I'm trying to see if Eric finds that album. When I did, um, I don't know if you remember, Brianna, you, we did it together. Um, we did a, a Father's Day album using um, little envelopes. And back then, of course, I didn't have a whole lot of craft stuff, but I was into stamping up, and basically it was attaching your... Um, envelope together so what i'm going to do and you know what angela i wonder if you could make a digital for a travel journal i know you're the talent on this um but i was trying to find some digitals for this so basically i'm going to take what i'm going to do is here's two envelopes and i got these envelopes at tuesday morning it's number 10 envelopes and they were $1.99 for a pack of 25 and they're craft envelopes um, that you can buy it Tuesday morning, or you can get any, um, recycle some of your envelopes. We do everything online. We hardly get any envelopes coming in because they're, all our billing is online. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a travel journal um, using these two envelopes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip before I move on to this, let's do this because I am going to move on to that. I'm going to I'm going to cut this. Don't throw away your flat because that flat could be recycled for something else. So don't throw this away because this can definitely be used for something entirely different. Um, I like to save all my scrap and I just have a little scrap little section. Once you have that, um, you want to get your adhesive and glue these two down. And you don't want to close these pockets, but what you want to do is we're going to open, oh, Angela's joining us. Guys, say hi to Angela. Good morning. I know I, I woke up after I finished telling you that I was I had not finished. I wasn't feeling good at all. Oh, I'm still I'm coming down with some kind of head cold or something. But I saw you on and I was like, she didn't sleep. No, I woke up when I sent you the message. I have not been able to sleep since then. It's like I was not feeling good and I needed to. Y'all don't, uh, my hair looks like a mess, okay? So I just woke up. I got to take my medication this morning. I was like, oh, amazing. So I have been up watching mm -hmm. videos from Creativation. Uh-huh. What's your input on that? Because I am not liking some of these products. I'm not, I'm just not impressed by it. They're saying good morning to you, Angela. Oh, hang on. Let me go over there, y'all. Hang on. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. I got to open the chat up over there. Well, good morning, everybody. Yep, it's this time of year um, for creativation and to put our input, you know, to see what the new products are and everything. And like May, I am disappointed. Yeah. But some. Um, like I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping to go to the stores. Most of them, though, they're saying it's not going to be available to the summer anyway. But yeah. I'm not jumping anywhere to get anything. I'm just not. 
Anyway. Yeah. I'm not jumping anyway. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not rushing over. Hey, okay, I'm a, I'm here at the top. Okay. Um, hey, Teresa. Ooh, man, who's man, man, Mandalay Cards? I've never seen her. Oh, her name is Dahlia. That you, Dahlia? Dahlia. Dahlia. Mm -hmm. Dahlia. Dahlia. Mm -hmm. Dahlia. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna subscribe, Dahlia. I've subscribed. Yeah, go check her out, Dalia. She does a lot of videos on her channel. Okay, who is Clint Crafts? I haven't seen him before. Clint? That's Clint. Clint. Oh, Clint. <laughs> yes, Clint. That is Clint. Okay, Clint. Lord, I'm telling you, people's church. I'm not awake all the way. Um, Sandra Louie, I think I've subscribed to her. No, nope, first time watching Sandra Louise at Mama Two's place. Ma, Mama Two, Ma, Mom Two, Mom's Two Creatives, actually, Jeanette. Her name is Jeanette. No, -uh, it's Mama Two's place. Oh, Sandra Louise. Oh, yeah. Um, first time watching. Oh, that's her. It's her first time watching. So welcome, Sandra. Let's see. Yeah. I'm hopping over there and I subscribed. There you go. Welcome. Everybody, welcome. Yep. Everybody click the, um, the set. Y'all, look where my cat's at. Hang on. And I keep thinking my neck is itching. Can you see him? He's on you. No, he's on the back of the chair. He is 19 years old. 19, yeah, you got him when um, Michaela was little. Yeah, when she was two and met. She's supposed to turn 21 in June. Gosh, can you imagine? She's grown so much. Yes. I think this one, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We're going to leave one with a pocket and one we're going to open up a little. <coughs> Okay, there are some products I'm intrigued about. I'm still watching. Um, Tim Holtz again has used his colors, his same color palette, and done um, some. It's translucent embossing powders. Uh huh. I think we should grab a couple of those and work with it. Um, those glaze he's come out with the glaze he came out with are awesome yeah i'm intrigued about some of his products um and i want us to i want i'm going to break may into doing some mixed media basically get her hands dirty she's gonna get me get my hands dirty y'all know how i feel about my hands being dirty i told her i'm, I'm serious you're gonna have to get you an apron that's something we should do may we should decorate an apron online uh, as a class. Mixed media style or shabby sheet? Whatever, whatever floats your boat. And then, we, cause see, we both have that um, cricket iron thing. Oh yeah, the easy press. Yeah, we both have the easy press. I love that thing. I love that thing, I love that thing. That's the only thing I like. Uh, from cricket um yeah we need to would y'all like to see that oh hey teresa yeah we can all craft um aprons together like everybody make their apron to wear for in their craft room hi martina welcome how are you this morning they're saying hi to you martina saying hi to you hey martina yeah see sandra said that sandra lee said that would be cool awesome guys if you guys haven't subscribed to each other please do so and by doing that that means you go to each other cover over the names hit each other's channel up and um watch each other's channel for at least he clint said he thought about decorating his um apron so i think that'd be a cool idea I think so. I, I, I had decorated an apron shabby chic way um, when I had my old channel. 
Well, I'm going to put my name on it. I'm going to iron my name on it. I like to see how you would do it makes me a way. And Teresa says she wants to get the Diane, uh, which one? The Dana Wakely? Yeah, Diane Wakely's. Um, Hi, Debbie. Her, um, what was it? What she, huh? She wants to get the Dana Wakely. Hold on, go back to it. She wants to get the Dana Wakely new gloss acrylic sprays. Now, are those like the Tim Pokes? Acrylic glaze. I don't know. Like I said, I'm right. Um, I've got to watch some more videos and write down like because some of these these products are going to be available like right off the bat, and some of them are going to be available like in the summer. Now, did you see the We Are Memory Keepers mold press? Yes, we were just talking about that. I know. Well, I want that. I want that so bad. I was like, you're my baby. I was just talking about that because um, Mama to Create, which is Janet, she said she wants it. My concern about that, see you guys later. Have fun. Good night or good morning, um, Janet. Have a good day. Have a good day. I would love to do that. I have aprons to work on. Awesome. I think I have some papers too. I think. I don't know. I'll have to look through my stuff. But I'm sure they're not that expensive. But yeah, that that mold thing, my thing is that may, remember a couple of years when it came out with their sewing machine? That sewing machine was a flop. And my concern is that they're not going to have the plastic um, for it on time and well, it's gonna be expensive yeah well i think i think if you're a candle maker it'd be great um or a soap maker or a soap, soap maker. maker it would be great um but see i would love to ha i would love to play with it but i don't know how many times i really i want it i mean i would love to play with it, but i don't know how many times i would use it so i so guess that's going to be because it has a vacuum cleaner did you see the vacuum cleaner no i want the vacuum cleaner um, that'd be good to just keep in the craft room if the sewing machine was like 289 dollars uh -huh. my guess my personal guess is that it's going to be around that price range. It's going to be it's it's going to be pricey. That's not going to be a cheap toy. My guess. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. Let's see if I can look it up. Hang on. Yeah, that mold press apron. My apron is black. Um. Your apron would my apron be black. I have a, a black apron. Oh, we have a black apron from Chocotour. I'm not doing anything with my Chocotour lately. I can alter that one. We need to do something because I signed up for that. <laughs> I know. My my problem is their shipping is so freaking screwed up. Okay, so here's two envelopes put together. And I opened the one and joined them like that so I can make a travel. Now, Angela, uh -huh. since you are the um, digital queen here, can you make a digital kit for a travel journal that is four by nine? Four, like four and a quarter. Come here. Come here, um, nine and three eight to go inside this journal pepper do you want up here or do you want to play which one is it come here come here crazy dog i will use my white apron for crafting and my red one for sewing i just have the one apron and i have eric's uncle's apron that he used to use when he painted before he passed away. Um, I have those. But anyway, I'm, I'm thinking of doing a, a travel journal with these two envelopes. I have made an album for Eric a couple years ago. Well, not a couple, 2010. We were living in Arizona. An album using envelopes. And I thought, 
this would be nice for a little travel journal. And if you can make some digital, I think it'd be so awesome. I can see we can talk about it. Um, like what design concept we can come up with. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, that machine, I think is going to be a huge, huge disappointment. Watch, watch. It's going to be huge. It's a huge disappointment. Yes, because I'm sorry. Some of their tool, I like their punches. I like we are member Gifford's punches. I do too. I like their punches. Um, I like their crocodile. I like mm -hmm. their um, basic little hand tools and, you know, their glue gun. No. I didn't know they had a glue gun. Oh, honey. Yeah, they got a glue gun. They got a, um, they got the cinch. I have the cinch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. They got a stamp press or a stamping board. And of course, they got trimmers. They turned into a tool, mm -hmm. um, you know, a tool thingy. Well, they used you know, to do a little bit of other stuff. Well, you know, they were, they've been out since the 1800s, I think. They're like, they've been around for many, many years because the original owners were into bookmaking. Um, ha 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 crazy dog i have one of those oh, i have two of those I have two. it says meet the newest addition to our quill family transfer electric electronic cutting machine to ceramic glass metal or fabric mm -hmm. then they got what's called a uh, create buttons a button press what Oh, oh, those ugly buttons, those, the pin. Yeah, the 37 millimeter button press set and die pieces to make five buttons, button kits, accessories are sold separately. I'm curious about the transfer quill stuff. I love the foil quill that goes attaches to your electronic cutter because I showed you a sample of it on my show the other night. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. No, I like that one. Oh, my eyes are... What about itchy. Prima? What about Prima? What is your take on Prima? I'm disappointed. Yeah. I am highly disappointed in the collections. Um, I am too. They absolutely have... Those, a couple of those, I can see releasing for summer. But the other ones are ugly. They're just ugly. Yeah, yeah. But they're also not thinking about YouTubers that are concerned right about now with Copa because a lot of that stuff is kind of kiddish, you know. Well, it's the oh, it's not it's it's it's. I mean, it's not it is kiddish, but it's not a toy. So yeah. I think I think they'll pass with Copa on that end of it as long as you're not uh, advertising it. Oh, this will be perfect for a kid's birthday party or right. You know, now you can do that stuff over there on Facebook and whatever. Right, you can probably yeah, and I think that's what it was. Like someone said, "Oh, I can make something for my daughter," and that's right there is where the YouTube will get you. You know, because it's so cute that you're gonna want to make something for your kid. Yeah. Now I think I might like this. What is it? Um, it coming out me we are memory keepers coming out with what's called a 12 inch supreme ruler what it is is the this 12 inch ruler has a touch activated grip holds in place while cutting along the durable metal edge it's transparent for easy alignment and uh it'll come out in spring of 2020 it also has a stylus that goes with it so you could score. Mm, that would be interesting. Uh -huh. Ooh. Grandpa's apron and his grandma has. That would be cool in honor of your grandpa um, plant. Yeah. They're also come out with a um, painful foil quill. Um, twelve. It holds 12 inch roll uh, foil organized and easy to access the new foil roll storage rack it hangs on the wall and then you just pull your foil down and cut it like a paper wrap paper towel holder 
Uh huh. And stuff. Lord, look at my hair. I look like. I just, I'm not impressed. Like, did you see um, Diane Waverly? She changed the bottles on her paints. To what? Um, I haven't seen her yet. I've been watching. She's got the. Uh, they used to be in little containers that were about this round. Uh huh. That high. Uh -huh. like little pods. Now she's doing them to just regular, regular, typical paint bottles. Hmm. Might be cost effective manufacturing. Probably. I just think I like the other format, but then again, they used to be like this. They were like this. Yeah. Now she's just making them into those odd shaped bottles. They're kind of odd shaped bottles. Not like this, but kind of funky looking bottles. What did I do? Do I have a hair towel? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a cost effective. Uh, I don't know. People. Mm. Oh, guess what else they're coming out with? What? We are memory keepers is coming out with their own glass mat. Really? Yep. It is a 16 by 22 inch glass mat. How do you have Tim Holtz? Yeah, I do. Okay, measure it real quick. Because this one is a 16 by 22. I'm just going to wear my hair down for right now. So it's on a hair tie. 16 by 16. By 14 and a quarter. Oh, so it's two inches bigger. Yeah. Um, Dahlia says, um, okay, Sandra says, I am trying to squash my stuff up at ATM. My son is moving home and wants his room back. Oh no! Oh no! no. <laughs> oh my God! And then Dalia says, "I had the foil quill pen. What is everyone's thought? I don't like the foil pen that came out. I I tried it. This if you're talking about this pen, I don't like this." No, I like I like the one that attaches to the electronic cutter. It's it works really yeah, this well. This one attaches to a USB port, USB um, to your computer basically. It doesn't. It takes forever to heat up. It takes me forever to get it to work, and it's not what it's cracked up to be. It's not. Um, they made it look so easy, but when you get your hands on it, it's the foil is expensive too. Um, Sandra, if you have the um, attic in my house, girl, I'll let you use it. Oh, I have. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Clint. I don't didn't realize what a goer bird I am. It's 14 and a half by 24, I think. Who, Tim's? No, I just measured it. Hold on. I just did, I use my 18 inch ruler here. And there's 18. And 18 and actually five and a quarter. So 18 plus five and a quarter is what? 23 and a quarter. Uh -huh. By 14 and a quarter is tens. Just another, I, I don't know how they come up with these things. But some of it's not cracked up what it is, and then people buy it, and then they're like, oh, my God, I wish I never bought that. Yeah, that's one of them. Oh, oh they're coming out with a, a, a tray tower, or it looks like right here it says, ever wonder where to store your projects that are in process? This new product. The project cart has six removable trays for storage where you can, like, I think that's a cool idea instead of sitting on your desk. It looked like cookie sheet, didn't it? Like, no, it looks like cookie sheets you pull in and out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I might like that. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in that. Um, they're coming out with this um, tool called Crafters Essential Spinning Tool. Give new projects a spin 
with this USB spinning tool. The USB spinning tool quickly and efficiently spins yarn and thread to make pom-poms, tassels, uh, rolls papers for flowers and other quilling projects. And it comes with a rotary tool, flower and paper quilling attachment, and a pom-pom and tassel attachment to make switching um, between projects a breeze. But it, it, it plugs up to your computer, so it uses your computer's... Um, it's not battery operated. It's, it uses your computer's power. So, or you plug it into a USB port on the in your plug or wall. You know, everything is going USB instead of being plugged up like regular. I noticed that, but you know what? I don't really like that because if you don't have a really good, like my computer is not strong enough. So when I use the foil pen, it doesn't heat it up strong enough for me to be able to use it. And Sandra Dahlia says, I'll be returning. I'll be returning it then. No more. Say no more. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not what it's cracked up, Dahlia. It's not like not worth it. Really. <coughs> if you can get your money back, return it, get your money back. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get Danny to make me some ribbon shelves. This woman right here. Uh, we are memory keepers. She made a ribbon shelf that holds 300 rolls of ribbon. What? Yeah, you got. You just got to go visit her. Get, visit this. Um. I like the IKEA. Um, IKEA has its pegboards, and I told Eric it's on my. Um, I want list. It's on my I want list. The IKEA pegs, okay. and it's, they're very affordable too. Huh. Yeah. $10 for a pegboard. Okay, so next let's go to um, Prima Marketing. Oh, Prima disappointed. Frank has new molds. That, that, that's kind of the corner molds. But he still disappoints me. Yeah, it's I don't know about this collection. I think it's too cutesy for me. I don't like cutesy. I don't know. Other people I like their new stencils that are coming out. I always like their stencils. Their stencils are really awesome. Their stencils are great quality. That I will say about Prima. Their stencils. And their molds. Yeah. And their molds are super class act. Yeah. They're coming out with a corner mold. They're coming out with a Luxembourg. Uh, I can't say that one. Anyway, they're coming out with one, two, four, five different molds. Um, they're coming out. Finnabar's come out with six new um wax colors. Rusty red, charcoal, um, patina rust twenty sixteen. Because I just can't, their paper, I swear, their paper seems to be um, geared to um, say, hi, Pepper. Good morning. She has a little shit this morning. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like it. It looks more gothic to me. Yeah, I can't uh, craft with it. I think it's more for your three-dimensional album building, box building, you know, those intricate building 3D things. Yeah. I think this was more geared toward. Well, to me, I think that over the years, they, they don't seem to be changing much, and they look too gothic -y for me. Yeah, let's see. Morbid, I don't know. They're not morbid. I wouldn't say morbid, but more, I don't know. It's just not my style. Not my style. Okay. Good night, everyone, or good night, Sandra. Good night. Catch the rest later. Time to go to work. Go to work, Dahlia. Enjoy your day. Have a blessed Sunday. It was cold in my craft room. I don't know why it was so darn freaking cold in here. Okay, let me see what Ranger Ink is coming out with. Ranger has all those, um, what do you call those? They came up with all those, um, oh, 
Um, okay, Dilutions is coming out. Tim Holtz is coming out with that um, new alcohol ink. And then he come out with the translucent embossing powders. I saw those. Um, how much is this stuff going to be? Huh. Well, let me see it. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, Diane Dilutions exit. Stupid page. Crashed on me. Figures. Okay. Um. What other company do we use, May? Diane's um Dilution things. They she just came out and changed all the the bottles. Yeah, I think that was a manufacturer move. I like the, I mean, I, I prefer it that way because, you know, when you have those little bottles that you squirt out, you tend to waste more. Okay, let me go over here to scrapbook.com. Normally, they have a section that, my eyeball, the allergies are so bad right now or something. My eyeballs feel like they got hay fever in them. Okay, do you like Authentique? Authentique, yeah, I like them. Yeah, I keep saying that wrong. Authentique. Um, let me see what they're coming out with. I know they're coming out with like a... I like them. I like their paper quality. Very good. Yes, their paper quality is amazing. I do like their paper quality. But I'm hoping that they are coming out with a couple of collections I can work with. They got really good. I, I don't know. Um, their paper quality to me is almost like Blue Ferns. I don't know if you work with Blue Ferns paper quality. You know, they sold out to be at Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Yeah, they did sell out. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But I, you know what? They for these companies to survive, I'm sure they didn't have other options. I think Blue Fern she sold um, she sold the business to um, someone in Arizona bought the business. But you know who's been buying a lot of these companies out? American Crafts. Yes. Can you believe that? Yeah, they're like the Macy's or the Estee Lauder of the paper crafting community. Yeah. Estee Lauder bought a bunch of people out. Yeah, they are they are buying out all these companies out. It's like, wow, what the heck? You guys got a lot of money to be buying all these companies out. Well, they're they're all they're the smaller companies, so what they're doing is is they're buying them out and then uh you know I don't know, maybe they're gonna I don't know. It's almost like Walmart. They buy all these I don't know which how you would do it. Like I said, it's probably the Estee Lauder of paper. Okay, let's see. So like Estee Lauder of paper, or it's just it's almost like a monopoly now with 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 it because they're buying out all they they bought out Blue Fern, not Blue Fern. They bought out um, uh, Canvas Corp. Sorry for the noise. They bought out uh, Canvas Corp. They bought out. Um, who else have they bought out? Bo Bunny, We Are Memory. They bought out a lot of these little companies. Uh, here's someone. Here is a company I've, I've, I've not heard of. I'm sure because, like I told you, I haven't bought crap in two years. It seems. Dark Room has come out with some cool stencils. It's a company called Dark Room. Never heard of them. I haven't either. Oh my gosh, look at their stamps. 
Oh, man, you got to check this out. Yep. January 2020, new release stamps and stamps. I've never heard of Dark Room before. Me either. I swear, I've never heard of it before. Isn't that sad? Oh, look at the border stamps. Oh, those would be perfect for your, um, your, your, um, uh, inspirational journals. I think you need, you know, journaling is such a big thing. Yeah, I'm thinking about coming out with a couple of digital. I think you're, you're wonderful with the, the whole concept of that. I think you would be great at that. I'm going to send you a link to this company in Facebook. Just click on it and see what your opinion is. I think we're, I think this is a company we need to consider buying from or buying some of the products and doing a few classes on. Yeah. Let's see, Heidi Swap. I'm not interested in Heidi Swap. Me either. I don't, I don't care for her products. Kelly creates watercolor, lawn font. Oh, airmail ones look like the bow bunny airmail i do like that um that number medley oh that is nice how much is it i don't know i haven't looked at the prices oh, you nice. see lawn fawns a new dye i want this dye just because i want to create what it is May it's a die. Okay, you know the shutter on a camera? Uh-huh. Okay. This die makes the sh like it has a little tab and you lift it up or down and the shutter opens and closes on paper. Really? Yeah. I know it comes out with a lot of cool 3D stuff. Yes, let me see if I can find that uh like two minute video hang on you've got to see that you have got to see that hold up i'm gonna put that link there okay let's see i feel like that dark room i like their global postmarks and i like their number medley those yeah. are really nice i, I told think. you that's right up your alley i think you need to i think you should make a couple um junk journal um stuff because i think your designs are great i love your designs okay let's see l a one bond i gotta scan some of these stamps i keep forgetting i need a these are one of a kind and i need to scan them is that what it's called One of a kind, I can't use three inch. Let's see, one font. Creative base. Holy cow, that's a look how old that one is. A one cent stamp. Talk about old. I need to get stamps that are duplicates. I don't want to use. Where is that? Let's. Oh, yeah, here it is, mate. Okay. What I want you to do. Um, okay, go to this video real quick and go in at three minutes and look at this die and tell me if this is something pretty cool to work with. We can make a, just go to this, yeah, go there and scroll in three minutes. This is the new, um, that new die, I think it's called the reveal wheel, if I'm not mistaken. It's 
it's loading up. Three minutes. Yeah. Cut the volume off or it'll flag your TV. Your video. Just watch the mechanism on it. Rena K, hold on. Deco four. I know Deco R came out with something that's pretty cool too. Oh wow! Did you see the mechanism? Yes. Isn't that cool as hell? That is pretty awesome. I know. Uh, I think we should get it and play with it. Shutter, it kind of, once you, it like opens up. Yeah, it's like a shutter on a camera. Look at these stamps. I got a thousand stamps for like 11 something. Oh, okay. I was like a thousand stamps. You're talking about eating beady stamps. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, these are really cool looking, but I'm, I'm scanning them because they're, they're stamps here for one cent. They're older than heck. Uh, okay. Ranger come out with this paste that's real glittery. I've seen that a thousand times, and you can honestly make your own. Well, that's what I was wondering when I saw Tim Glaze. I'm like, okay, you could probably buy like Liquitex Glaze and make your own with a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of um, color, like mica colors or something. And right, you can mix a little bit of mica and then you can mix the polyester glitter. See, that's another thing you gotta understand. When you buy polyester glitter, it mixes in other mediums and keeps its color. Whereas if you use regular craft glitters, it's just meant to be on the surface of something. It does not mix. Mm. See, I'm gonna have to do a glitter class. Yeah, you're gonna. I didn't know that there was a difference in glitter. Yes, I learned that uh, when I was doing my cups. You only you have to use polyester glitter, at always. I don't know, May. I want to look. I like the, some of the illusion stamp sets. I like that quirky Alice in Wonderland look to stains. Um, also, she's come out with uh, some cool stencils. One's called Betsy Blocks. One's called Court Jester, which I would like to own that one. I didn't see those? I didn't see those. You mean Diane Waverly? Yeah, Diane. Yeah, here, go to this and scroll down, and you'll see her her new stamps and her new. Um, I didn't see those. Yeah, it's on the Ranger blog. Yeah, just that's where the new, like you said, the new bottles of paint. Oh, I guess because I, 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 as soon as I saw that she changed her bottle, I'm like, nope, I ain't watching anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I, see, yeah, her new bottles are just. Mm -hmm. I think the bottles are smaller for traveling. I think that's what that you is. You like stuff? Huh? You like this stuff? I think it's just too, it's too bizarre for me. See, I like court like me like I love that. I love the quirkiness. Do you see? I I I I I think there was just something particular about her that turned me off. That just I just can't look at her stuff anymore. Okay, let's I see. I used to like her, and I used to have a lot of her stamps and a lot of her stencils, and I had all her paints, and I had all her sprays i mean literally i had every single one and i got turned off by something i saw and heard and it was like nope ain't happening well okay stamperia has come out with this stuff called glamour gel oh i love stamperia okay are, are they in creativation yeah holy cow they came all the way from italy i don't know i've they're doing a I want to know what their glamour gel is. Oh my God, May. Oh, that looks pretty familiar. Yeah. Hold up. Wait a minute. You're going to flip your shit. 
Isn't it something we've done before? Yep. Looks very familiar. Go to this uh, link here and go in at one minute 35 and watch it. Wait, uh, at Ranger? Nope, this link right here. This is Stamperia. Go, go in at one minute 35 and then watch and you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about. One thirty-five. Uh-huh. And then watch it. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. See why. Huh. Recognize it? It looks like something you've done. Uh-huh. Don't you love it? <laughs> That okay, let's see. Hold on. That looks like something you've done. Or I inspired them. Yeah. I tell you a company that I've I have been I've gotten a couple of their products and I'm impressed with them is uh 49 and market. Oh, yeah. Wow. I love their flowers. I, oh, yes, I love, I love their quality of product. Their paper is just as good as the um, blue front paper. The only difference is they're a little bit more grungier style than the blue front. Um, but I love, love, love. I love grungy, so I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I like it too. I like their, but their. Uh, one uh one of the artists i absolutely love uh designs for them and that's gabrielle polaco yes oh yes i love her work too i love her work too she's inspired many projects that i've always tried mm -hmm. and stuff i just love her work i do too we have a uh, piece because i love her work as well yeah uh she doesn't do too many videos now, does she? She designs more than she does videos. Yeah, she does a few, but she's not as consistent as she was because, of course, she's having to design for other companies and she has to wait before she can release those. Yeah, she does a lot. Of, she's got, well, she designs a lot of her products go to 40, 49 in market. She's right. got, and I think she, I think she branched out and, let me scan this, hold on. Oh shit! Let me scan. Let me scan. Did it? Did I miss? Let's chat. You no, up? I I unplugged the computer and Carla took the laptop. Oh. I unplugged the printer from the computer, so I'm just gonna have to let it sit there till she brings that laptop because my computer's over on the other end of the room and the printer's on one end. Oh okay. Uh, Bo Bunny come out with a collection I might could play with and add color to, and it's a black and white collection. And it's called Family Heirlooms. Bo Bunny did. Mm hmm. Then uh, Cartabella, I'm not impressed. I have not been such a huge fan of some of their recent releases either. I'm just like. It's almost like some of these companies just get it's like they, they're revamping some of their original designs from a couple of years ago and they're just trying to revisit it. Yep. They have it in their warehouse and they're trying to push it now. Yeah, I don't like this cutesy cartoonish look stuff. I never liked that. I never liked it. I like. I don't know about you, but I like grungy, grungy kind of vintage. Floral, I love florals. A few I love floral. Geometric. Yeah, I'm a floral geometric. Yeah, I love floral. But I don't like some of this stuff that's been coming out lately. It's just like, no, that's not me. Yeah, see, they come out again with another baby girl, baby boy. And I know there's 
people that this caters to and stuff. It's just uh, not me. Yeah, me either. I'm not into that stuff either. Like, I love Easter. Very cartoonish. Very bright colors. Um, no, I'm not feeling it. Okay. Graphic 45. On the front of one of their collections is a big old cow. And it looks kind of, it's like that country vintage. Mm -hmm. um, and it's called Fruit. And it's called, nope, it's called Farmhouse. Mm -hmm. um, have you seen it? No, I haven't. I have not looked at Graphic 45. And I'll be honest, I saw Graphic 45. I told you yesterday that I was going to, um, to that uh, creator resale store here. And uh -huh. they had the um, that one graphic 45 collection. It came out a couple of years ago. We brought it when I had the store. We, we got it from the store. Oh, Lord. That is forever ago. Yeah. And that was in 2016 when we bought it for the store. Um, what, what was it? That one? What was it? Something Ladies. Oh, uh, I got it in. Hold on. I got it in a Diary, of, diary of a Lady or something. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, that one. They, okay. they had it there, um, and I snagged it. Um, okay. Okay, I'm going to send you a link. This is exactly what I'm talking about when I say graphic 45 paper is more for the three-dimensional decor stuff. When you go here, scroll all almost all the way down, and you'll see what I'm talking about, where they created boxes and labels and more home decor and three dimensional uh, stuff with this paper than actually working with it like a scrapbook or a card making. Hey, Joey, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're over here talking about new products. Yeah, how in, not impressed we are not. <laughs> Hold on, let me look at that. If I was doing my kitchen in this farmhouse look, I like the checkerboard. It looks almost buffalo. You know what that one reminds me of the French country uh, collection. Yes, yes, they're very yes. That's where I'm saying they never change their format, and that's why I stopped looking at them because everything always looks the same. It looks just like and see right there that orange. I just got this that Tuesday morning. Um, it's the same crap. Look. Yeah, it's a, it's the same color. That's what I'm saying. A lot of companies just revise. Uh, yeah. They pull from their, yeah, they pull from their collections. And I stopped and buying that 45 too because, you know, they, they retire their stuff and then they bring it back out more expensive. Because it's retired and coming back for a limited time. But see what I mean? If you scroll down, look at the projects. You don't see cards. You see projects, like actual home decor stuff. See, that is exactly. They combined their French country kitchen to create this. That's all they did. That's and put a cow on it. They still got the damn chickens there. Yeah, now they're fruit. Let me look at their fruit. The exact same thing. Bring up country, French country kitchen. The exact same thing. Let me go back down. Where are their projects? Yeah, you're right. They do a lot of 3D stuff. Now, here is their new fruit collection. Now, if you were one to make, uh, this would be nice to make a um, the fruit collection for a cookbook, a family cookbook. Look at that collection. That This would be the only way I would use this collection is a cookbook. And you, God, I remember when fruit was the thing to do your kitchen, decorate your kitchen. Okay, you got to tell me if you remember when they had that damn duck, the 80 duck. Oh, yes, my mama done her kitchen all in ducks. Yes, I loved it too, that blue ugly duck. Yeah, the white duck with the little blue ribbon. <laughs> the country blue, it had to be country blue. And my mama done ducks, yeah. she done fruit. Yeah. She done, um, did she do cows and chickens? Yes, yeah, she done cows and chickens. She did. Um, then she went away and done uh, signs like all the 
Decided. Do you like this one? Do you like this fruit? I don't like that. See, there's that orange, almost the same as that one orange I just showed you. I don't I like, like it. it for a cookbook. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to make an album out of it. Yeah. This would be a great, cute little album to make for cook uh, recipes and stuff. A recipe book. Yeah. I would work with this one, but that would be the only one. Let's see if what their other ones are. Oh, Lord, they've come out one called Ocean Blue, which is just nothing but. Blue. I bet you it's the same thing as their Sea Life one. Hi, Raju. Hello. How are you? Welcome. Um, how are you? I was in Austin yesterday. Forgot I missed. I should have called you. I didn't know your number to call you. But yeah, I was in Austin. You missed me yesterday, Raju. Okay, there's their blue one. And it's just blue. Too probably, much blue. Probably the same as their sea life one. Yeah, yep. but it's just the blue. Life. See, that's what I'm saying. I have gotten away from them because everything is always the same. Everything is always the same. This is looks this looks like their sea life one. I'm sorry. They need to get out of this concept of making everything look the same. All they do is they have an old paper pack, an old collection. They drop a few different little images, a few little tweaks, and they call it a new creation. I don't, I don't like it. too much blue. I agree. Okay. Here is the paper collection for Prima. Uh, this is the only one I would consider. Let me get you this. I like some of their, I love their vines, but this would be the only one I would consider purchasing. And I'm sure you might feel the same way. I want to know what that's painted right there. Yeah, as opposed to their aloha. Yeah, that's like the mosaic look. Yeah, this would be the only one um, I would consider purchasing. Yeah, I would, I would consider that. I, I don't like that cutesy little aloha. Where are you looking? Is this, do they have all their new stuff listed? Yeah, the, uh, it's this is on their blog let me get you the link to this one this one's by frank garcia and this one's called uh capri oh their store their um website has the new stencils yep look right here this is frank garcia's um capri they have the mold but you know what last time i jumped and started ordering when i had a store not now but Butterfly Bliss, no, then there is, it almost looks like they're old stuff. No, that's not happening. Yelp. Ew, the Aloha one is, yeah, no. Ooh, have you seen that Aloha? Yeah. Ooh, I'm looking at Frank Garcia's right now. I, yeah. love, I love his choice of flowers and stuff, but... I'm sorry, I can't do that, Aloha. You gotta have a market for people that's gonna want that Aloha stuff. I like that. Okay. I like that Capri one. Is that that's not? Tell me, that's not the Aloha one, is it? No, no. the Capri one is uh more is the. Uh, but see, they messed it up with those two pictures that look like those two is, pictures. Yeah, this is Frank Garcia's, and then. Look at this picture, May. I want to know that piece of chipboard that's in this picture. I want to thank you for that chipboard. Those two pictures he has on there that looks like an old postcard picture that they uploaded and put onto the... It does not go with the rest of the paper collection. That It doesn't go with the, 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 the paper. Uh, uh But I want to know where that chipboard is. I want to know what piece of chipboard was used in that because that chipboard's pretty. See, I sent you the picture. Here, here's a better one. Copy image. 
See, I want to know where this, these chipboard pieces are. One looks like um, chain, and the other one looks uh, like. You know, you know who you might want to look up for that? That chipboard? Because I don't think Prima's doing chipboard. Not uh, I'm probably going to have to ask somebody. Um, what's that one company that does really beautiful um, creative embellishment? I think it's called. They do beautiful chipboard here. In yes, I love their work. I love their chipboard. They have beautiful chipboard pieces. I that that would be my guess that they probably contacted or or Forty Nine and Market or Blue Fern. Blue Fern is the other one. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do our investigating. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be like Blue Fern has beautiful. Or two, yeah, I, that's what my guess would be. Blue fern, okay. Let's see. Or creative embellishment, they have beautiful chipboard. The surfboard, I love the colors. I just don't know. I'm on the fence, man. Let me give you the link to the complete collection. Well, yeah, that one that you just sent me with um Frank Garcia's, I yeah. like everything except for those two big pictures with the collection, the calling cards. Uh huh. Doesn't go with the rest of the calling cards at all. Now, see, I love this color. I love the colors of the collection, and I have so many. Um, I have my Florida trip pictures. I haven't done, uh, but I just don't know. I love the mold. I love the pop, the palm tree mold, and I like the vines that come in this collection. I don't like those colors. Mm -mm, nope, ain't doing it for me. Gone surfing? Nope, nada. That's not making me want to go out there and buy that. Like, you have to specifically like, I mean, even the little pictures on that one page with the surfboards and the people, the, the 12 by 12 with the surfboards and the people in the water, uh -huh. they don't even look like they're drawn right. No, this is more of like your. It's like not even perfect. Like a watercolor cartoon. It. It's a water, very, yeah, it's like a watercolor. I, you know, it looks like little stick figures. Yeah. So yeah. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Simple stories. Not impressed. Uh, keep it. They can keep it. I'm not feeling nothing by simple stories. Stamperia. I love Stamperia, but you know what's bitchy about Stamperia? Ten pieces of paper. That's it. For four Ten pieces. pieces. That's it. And you can see, I love this collection here. Yeah, Stamperia is the only thing is that you only get 10 sheets of paper for $14.99. Sometimes 25 depending on where you buy it. And uh, see, Ruby made a really pretty album using Stamp Period, but she had to buy like four packs. Yeah, you have to buy multiple packs. I'm like, oh, hell no. Uh uh. But see, that one right there is really pretty. House of Roses. Now, that's up your alley right there. Now, that would be one I would consider purchasing. And then. Uh, of course, the the that one I showed you. That's too pinky for me. I don't like pink. I'm not. I'm not a girly girl. Mm -hmm. Look. Yeah, this one reminds me of something. Look at that picture. That's from Stamp Period called Imagine. I like grungy. Oh, my God, do I like grungy. Then they got one called Sea World. Nah, I don't like that one either. Do you like that? Uh-uh. Uh-uh, I don't like that. Nope, ain't doing it for now, me. Now, Tim Holtz come out with, uh, let's see. Now, this, if you like grungy, this is really grungy. Um, but, let's see. Yeah, scroll down. Okay, this is by Tim Holtz. He's got a new grungy collection, uh, background papers. This is really grungy, like dark grungy. I don't know if you like that kind of stuff. Let me get this tied up. I like some of his ephemeras. His assemblage packages, I call them ephemeras. There's a few I would purchase. Yeah, see, I like grungy. I like 
I like grungy like that. Well, you need to, you'll like everything you see on this post. If you like, I don't like postcards he got, that's just too too new to me. Some of his ephemeras I have stayed away from because you can get really good digital printouts. Yeah. Uh, better that looks more vintage. Like I like vintage. That's what I like. Like these ephemeras that he has with the oranges and the reds and the four leaf clover. And no, that doesn't do anything for me. I do like his name and number tags. Those are not, ooh, the screws. Yes, but you can go get new screws. See, that's the thing. We can, a lot of this stuff, you don't have, you can go out to the warehouse, the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Lumber yard or whatever and get some screws. I know. Yeah. It's just like, uh... yeah. Oh, that one, those, um, Acrylic flowers that he has, or heirloom. I know they. That's stuff you get in China. That does not look like something he would use himself, does it? That doesn't look like something he would use. No, that's like a. That's like oh, a throw in there. Okay, here we go. Here's some colors. His fabric album. Like how many times have lots of us done fabric albums? Like a lot. And that little fabric album, you can make that for less than two bucks. And I bet you he's going to sell that for 10 bucks. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, now, I'm going to look at Spellbinders. Hey, Evelyn. Hello, finally crafting. How, you, how are you? Spellbinders? I don't look that way either. Hang on. Spellbinders. I don't Spellbinders. I love Spellbinders. You know, that's what the Spellbinders is the only company I will buy from as far as dyes outside my silhouette. I love Spellbinders. I love the, I love, love, love their, I'm just in love with their. I like their dyes, but I don't spend money. I don't use them enough to buy it. Well, I want to start making, um, like do a part of the week videos use i need to use my dyes i need to i've got a bunch of them and i need to use them like, if you have dyes yeah you have to use them like i i have a couple dyes um I'm, i used to have lots and lots of dyes because every time something came out i would go out and buy it and that was the biggest problem we go out and we buy all this stuff and then we don't even use it well that's my goal for 2020 is to pull out stuff that i have not touched and work with it and if i can't work with it i'm just going to sell it or donate it depending on what it is um now some of this stuff like some of their new dyes um is great for album making and card making i just love their dyes i could uh, i just love their dyes i just love them I mean, <laughs> you love their dyes <laughs> yes it's like to me okay it's like you like grunge i like spellbinders dies i'm fine thank you trying to find out what y'all doing today oh we're just sitting here talking about the new products that have been released in the craft industry yep it's like innovation uh weekend yeah I think it's over i think is it this week it is over isn't it? I know. I think it's got one more day, isn't it? Today's the last day, isn't it? I think so. Today's Martin Luther King Day, too. No, today's Sunday. Oh, I keep thinking it's Monday. I'm dumb. Okay, I'm a day off. I thought today was Monday for some damn reason. Evelyn said hi to you. I'm making, well, I, I came on to do some glassing envelopes and bags. Then I got to run in my mouth and made her stop. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then we started, I started talking about different products that are in the market. And that's where we are. And I made some little glassine bags out of wax paper. So you can see how I did this in the beginning of the video. Um, just quick little glassine bags that you can make out of wax paper. Um Ooh. And these are really good for, I'm um, trying to get Angela to get back into the digital aspect of her talent. Yeah, May wants me to make an exclusive set for her stuff, which I'll work, I'll, I'll do it. I'll work, we always work well together. 
Yeah, and see, I got these envelopes from, um, oh, who's calling it? Is it me? No, it's the ladies. Okay, so um, these are envelopes you can buy at Tuesday morning. And I want to see if Angela will make a digital collection for a travel journal. Journal. It's 25 envelope canvas or craft, not canvas. Okay, so what? Let me let me write this down. Hang on. So this here is a dollar ninety nine for twenty five craft envelopes, and they're number ten envelopes. And okay. uh, send me the measurements through Facebook. Just type it up. And then, uh, how okay? How big of an album did you want to do? Like how many pages? Um, I'm probably doing. I'm probably gonna put just one signature in here because I don't want it too big. So I'm just gonna do one signature with lots of little ephemeras in there. I'll I'll figure out something and I'll give you the, all those measurements. But the envelope itself, let me go on here on Facebook. Mm. 4.29 by nine and a half, I believe. 4.25, not 4.29. So basically, it is, I hate this stupid video. Yeah. Four, well, a little less than four point, okay. Scratch that off. It's one, one, and one eighth. Okay. What? Wh okay. Stop. Oh, what? Where do you get? Who makes the envelopes? Um, I don't know. Hold on a second. I think it's American Crafts. Okay. Well, let me look. Uh, see what kind of, and then I'll just get the dimensions from there. Right there. That's the right dimension. Okay, American. Okay, four and an eighth, nine and three eighths. Okay. Right, four and one eighth by nine and three eighths. It's about what it is. Um, and I took and cut one flap out, and I've done an album for Eric in 2010. I'm trying to see if he finds it in our stuff um, in the garage. Um, but basically, it was just taking the flaps, gluing it together, and making an album. And for this one, I just cut one flap, which you can recycle your flaps for inserts. And then I trimmed, I cut the open the sides and then trim off part of the, 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 the inside. You'll see the video, you just have to go through the beginning of it. And so I'm gonna get in and do a image or collection to go for this. You have to see the beginning to see how that works. And it's going to be a tra travel journal, but Angela's going to design something for us for that. Yeah. I, yeah, love I like designing for particular projects instead of trying to design an entire collection. Everybody prints out and doesn't know what the hell to do with after you do it. Oh, family. Um, the way I did the glass, these, this is just, I took some wax paper. You could probably use tracing paper as well because Aristi uses tracing paper, um, and um, you can use wax paper. And what I did is I heated up some coffee, and I dipped it. And then once I dipped it, I made that grungy look. And then I stamped in it and cut it. I cut each sheet at 8.5 by 11, and then I cut these out to make little pockets for your inserts for your journals. But Angela, I'm not going to give too many measurements because I want Angela to make a digital pack for this. Um, for this collection. So once I, once if Angela gets it done for me this week, I'll work on that one album. Yeah, I'll work on it. Uh, another company I want to consider working with this year is Waffle Flower. Oh, I've heard a, a lot of good stuff. I've seen stuff with them. Uh, here, look at this, May. This is their new releases. Did you see, did you have it? I've been wanting the Tonic Studio um, album die. 
Um, okay, let me look that up. Tonic Studio what? It's old. It's not new. It's called um, Tonic. It's Tonic Studio Keepsake Album Die. Keepsake A L B album. Okay, I'm looking it up. Uh, scrapbook. Oh, up. I see. Damn, you have to have a big old cutter to cut that. A regular cutter will cut it. A what? A regular um big shot will cut it. Really? Mm -hmm. It's eight and a half by. It's eight and a half. Should it should fit through the, the big shot. Well, I have that electronic one that's eight and a half by uh, Teresa Collins. Oh, yeah. I have. Oh, no. I have the Anna Griffin one that was gifted to me. Uh, I have the Teresa Collins one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. They have those nestling dyes. I saw the video on. YouTube. Yes. I think we should uh, do like a, a couple of waffle flower classes. Ooh, can you want to talk about, um, or did you want to leave that for your Friday night thing on the, uh, what do you call that website you were sharing with me last night? Oh, the RIPL. I wonder how you say that. The website where you get your scrapbook supplies. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I got you. Okay. Um, I'll talk a little bit about it right now, but, uh, I want to do like a, a whole spiel about it probably Friday. Yeah. Um, I order from a, I, I think I'm going to wait till Friday. It's kind of, it's kind of exciting. Uh, but it's a, it's a company I order from all the time, scrapbook supplies from all the time. And, uh, as you order, you collect points and you then you at the you turn these points into cash or savings off of your next order. Mm -hmm. So every order you're saving, either you're save you could because you collaborate points. And uh, I've I've got to make sure about their incentive for 2020. But normally what it is is on your first order, you get ten dollars to spend but you have to order a minimum of 20 or $25, which isn't hard, but you get 10, you get 10 off, you know, $10 off. And then, uh, you will start accruing points. Well, uh, it's a really, really awesome concept and program. And I've tested it. I've, I tested, I ordered all through, um, last year, little things like glue and ink, a couple of ink pads and stuff, but um, I had ordered one Prima collection. I ordered the flowers, the ephemera, and all this stuff, and the entire collection come to like $65, 75 dollars. And I, uh, I had accrued on that order, shoot, probably dang, probably about 1500 points. And then on my next order, I had 15 to 20 dollars off. So um, it's really, really awesome. And I'm going to talk more about it on uh, Friday with, at the Grow Stream because this is a great way to grow and be able to afford certain things that you're normally not able to do. But you can build up the points and build it up to where you are able, and, you know, if you don't have a wholesale account or anything like that, this is a great way to save some money and also help fellow crafters. But um, again, I've tested this company uh, all year last year and it's legit. Hi, Victoria. She wants to know what are waffle dies. I just put it in there in the chat. Yeah. Waffle dies. Uh, I've, did you see their gingham um, plaid stamp? Did I what? Their gingham and plaid stamp. Uh, uh I bought one at Tuesday morning the other day. A gingham plaid stamp. I, I gotta look for it. Not the other day. I would have to say I think it was in November that I bought it. See, me and May, what we did uh, years ago when we were doing classes together is like for that month we would pick out two different companies' products. And then we would create classes around those products. 
and then each month we would do something different like and then like if we did for example if we did the waffle flour i would get her to order a die and a stamp and then i would order a die and a stamp and it, but it wouldn't be the same it would be the same company but not the same you know whatever and it's a great way to that's a great way for us to work with products and do classes around it for all of y'all yeah and i'm looking to see where that I had a Gigo stamp that I just bought. It was in Tuesday morning. I just got to find it because, you know, I'm crazy like that. I don't know where I put it, but I know Tuesday morning had a Gigo stamp right around Christmas. Yeah. So pretty interesting. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty reasonable as well. I just can't remember where I put it because that's just me. I subscribe to Melanie Moore, Mowers. Mowers. Uh huh. Um, she's on here. And then finally, Crafton wrote, "Love all the glass stain and wax paper products. You're lucky to have so many different products to choose from." She made those envelopes out of wax paper. Well, these now these were just um, envelopes I bought. Hi, Melanie. And um, yep. Yeah run over and subscribe to finally crafting and melanie mm -hmm. show them some love because see these are some new people that i have never um yes and grab angela angela i think you might need to comment on the chat because oh that, yeah, yeah um they can't grab you if, they, if you're not in the chat but I, if you have not subscribed to her please do so she does friday grow stream what a grow stream is is base oh talking of that i'm going to get to a, an important point that happened and i want to give a psa warning about something but basically what angela is doing is she's using her platform to help crafters gain subscribers utilizing her platform she's helping uh, youtube youtubers get healthy subscribers meaning you don't want to be going to these growth streams that has random people that are not crafters and well, see if the growth stream is intended for and every friday me and may we talk about uh apps we talk about websites we talk about ways to market yourself and this past friday i showed you two apps uh, to help you create your um, advertising for, you know, for free. I mean, you can do it for free. Mm -hmm. And um, we talk about stuff like that. We also, during the chat and during the live, we feature people uh, mm -hmm. that want to be featured. And let me get the group link. Uh, we've created a group called the Crafty Grow Stream Group on Facebook. That is where we post uh, business related uh, things um, we post about our upcoming classes and shows and blah 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 um, and I just use my platform to help fellow crafters grow organically and may she hops on there and we work with each other uh, to do this we and you it's all free we're not making any money with this we're giving our knowledge uh, and know-how that we have been knowing ever since 2011 and we're just sharing it with y'all so that y'all can grow right you know? now the reason you want to use her platform to grow your youtube channel versus going to these random gross grow stream is because what's been happening is that a lot of accounts have been uh hacked by people that are in these grow streams that you don't know what they're really, their intents are. So in the last couple weeks, and actually in the last two weeks, we have seen two crafters that has been affected. Um, handcrafted by Melanie. Well, check us out on Facebook and we would love to follow you there on Melanie. So these two crafters had big YouTube channels. And I think because I know the one was going to these grow streams. Um, and I'm thinking that her account was hacked because someone in those grow streams that has random, and I mean, when I mean these grow streams, 
that they're doing on YouTube are pretty scary because basically you go into them and you have someone that is saying, oh, go over there. It sounds like auctioneers. Go over there and hit this person. And if you give them a certain amount of money, they'll keep your name afloat and keep pumping your name. So I think that Lori's account was could have been hacked because someone in that growth stream may have gotten access to some of her information. But yes, last night, someone else was hacked. Her name was Teresa's Creations. And the person that hacked her, I put it on my community tab. If you go over to my community tab, you'll see um, the person that hacked her is almost similar to the one that hacked Lori called Fun Fun. And they appear to be Chinese or something because their writing that they're doing on their videos is almost like Oriental. Um, and I'm not trying to discriminate in any means, but I really, I think that's what it is because of the writing. I mean, it could be, I don't know, any Asian, I don't know. But they hacked her account and they have kept some of her videos. You can still see her videos. It has like 200 some thousand views on it. But they've hacked her YouTube, they've hacked her email, she can't have access to any of that. Same thing that happened to Lori, now happened to Teresa. So you guys got to be very careful when going to these grocery where there's random people in there because you just never know who is out there to hack. It's yeah, just I mean, you you have got to be really secure and one lesson i learned over the years and i'm serious my youtube has a different password and email my facebook has a different password and email my other social media has a password different so nothing across the board is the same nothing and if you know i would get you a little posty note or whatever and i would change your information write your emails down write your passwords down in a little notepad so that these people and also try to do that every few months especially now with the hacking that's going on it might be wise for people and if you get any strange because i know i got some strange emails sent to me do not open any weird links that is where they're getting these people that and i think it has to come with these growth streams they see them there they go over there and they start sending messages and you think oh i saw them at a growth stream i can click on their file uh-uh that's where they're getting they're getting hacked yep that's where it's happening and so angela is doing the crafter growth stream which is legit crafters that will subscribe to you And we basically all know each other, those that are subscribing to each other. So that's what, the, what you need to do. Um, like, you need to go into, we need to talk about this on next Friday's show, the security things. Mm -hmm. um, like, to talk about it the other night it's like it needs and it happened again last night teresa's teresa crafty, uh, crafty. She has done something she has done something to um i think she opened up probably because you think hi Aristy, how are you yeah i think she probably thought that it was someone she met she was saved, opened up the link, and bada bing, bada boom. Once you open that link, they acquired your information. And yeah, I think she opened the link. Mm -hmm. And they acquired her account. They, I mean, that's the only way that I could think of. Yeah. she's She got hacked by it. She's got a virus on her computer. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That's what I'm thinking, too. I'm it's stringing my buttons because it makes it easier i do a whole bunch of them and then that way when i start to put them on pages i don't have to sit there and thread them in i ate yesterday we went out we don't normally go out too often to eat but we wanted to brianna was by herself because the other two weren't here 
my son was working and Brianna was just Brianna and us, so we took her out to eat. And she wanted Chinese and we went, oh my God, it made me deathly sick. Oh. Ch girl, I had, okay, Michaela, hey, me and Michaela, I'm starting to transition to vegetarian. <laughs> Uh -huh. I don't, I can't eat a lot of meat anymore. And uh, so we ordered some steamed vegetables and stuff from the Chinese place up here. And uh, they got our order wrong and we had to go, they gave us our correct order. But the right, the wrong order had this uh, sesame sweet chicken or, or something like that. And I ate the chicken and I swear I was sick to my stomach within two hours. It, I I went I it was to me it was crab like a crab cake. Ugh, ugh. And I love crab and I don't get to eat it too much. And I grew up in the East Coast and so I had it and I was so excited that they had it there. And when I put the this fork up to my mouth, it kind of smelled rancid, like there was something not right. I sniffed it and I said, Oh, maybe it's just, you know, um the allergies here have been really bad and maybe my nose has just been not it's just not good right so ate it oh i when i when we pulled into the driveway i don't even remember anything else i told eric i feel like i'm gonna throw up I, I don't feel good i went to lay down because when i'm sick if i lay down and i don't think about what's i don't like to think about being sick uh -oh. I down to think about so i'm not thinking about being sick and I woke up in a dead sweat. I was sweating at one something in the morning. Yeah, I was okay. I don't know about you. Thank you, Aristi. Thank you. Uh, hey, Aristi. Um, ever since I was a child, I have had a phobia throwing up. Yeah. I literally shake so mm -hmm. bad because I and I wanted to be still. If you and I hate throwing up. I have a phobia of throwing up. I, 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 can't stand it. I can't uh, stand it. I deal with enough health issues that is, uh, uh I can't stand throwing up. And the, the thought of throwing up, it kind of makes me want to gag and look. And when you get I'm good at it, and the only time in my life I could literally, literally throw up where I didn't hold back with when I was pregnant. It was the only time that I would. And so I, when I'm sick to my stomach, like right now, I'm, I'm feeling like, oh. Let me I, tell you, I got food poisoning one time from a Sonic breakfast burrito. I ate it at 9 o'clock, and I was in the emergency room at 12 o'clock. I'll never forget this as long as I live. I was so sick. They said I actually looked green. And I went to the emergency room, and they put an IV in me, put medications and stuff. And I kept begging the lady. I said, please, please let me go to the bathroom, please. Well, we can't miss hope. We just administered you some medicine. I said, please let me go to the bathroom. Because in my room, there was no bathroom. I begged her and begged her. Y'all, I swear, I clenched myself, my butt cheeks so tight. I swear, I clenched. And all of a sudden, I just, everywhere. <laughs> and I looked at her. I said I cussed her out from one side to the other. Because my body, I was, it went everywhere, and I puked at the same time. And I puked all over the bed, and it was poo was all over the bed. I looked at her. I said, "Get me some clothes." And she said, "Well, here, here's some hand uh, towels. Look, you know the paper hand towels." Uh huh. He said, go clean yourself up. I was livid, but I was too sick to really make a fuss. And I remember the doctor come in and said, well, Miss Holt, we're going to send you home with uh, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you drink plenty of fluids. And I was going to walk out of there in a, in a, a, a gown. And uh, I turned, I walked as far as the desk, turned around, ran back to my room puked and pooed on myself again and he come running in there he goes miss holt you seem to be very ill and we're just gonna keep you i looked at him and i swear i said that i said no shit sherlock 
What made you think that I was so sick, right? Was it the shit? Yeah, I, that was, I swear, it's like whenever you have food poisoning, your body goes and like, it it wants to get it out of your system yeah. no matter what. I, I had gone into a gas station in 2000, the summer of 2017. I will not forget it because it was just that meaningful. And um, I was really, really hungry and I had not eaten all day and I get lightheaded when I don't eat, you know. And so I, I said to Eric, I said, let me, let me go in and get, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, it's not that I'm a picky eater. I just, I don't, I think about dirty hands and, and sanitation when I go to places, you know, I get really grossed out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ever since that, I, it's like, I, I will only eat certain things from certain places. Yeah. And that's where we went to that gas station. And I said, okay, I was that hungry. I was that hungry because I'm not willing to sit there. I will have coffee from, what are you making, May? With those buttons. Oh, I'm, I'm actually just taking the buttons because what I do is I'll put them, thread them all up. And then that way, when I go to use them on projects, I will cut them up. Well, they're tangled now. Um, they're already threaded. Oh. They're just threaded and ready for me to put on a project. And so right now I got two that I tangled up, but, um, that way I can snap them, trim it. Oops. And that way they're already, um, threaded and all I have to do is just snip snip all these out and have them already ready for when i'm doing a project may i think i've picked out the next project we need to make i made this years ago like 2012 and um i w i think we need to make me and you need to have our concept on this again we need to bring this back i just absolutely loved this project right there. So anyway, let me go look. Um, I went and had, I told Eric, I said, I don't care what you do. Um, I need to have something to eat. So I grabbed something. Oh yeah, that's the, um, uh, 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 don't say it. Okay. Okay. Yep. I think we need to do that. I think so too. I have never done one actually. I think we need to do it. I have never be my first. Um, well, we got a um, a burrito. Speaking of you saying burrito, we picked up a burrito at the gas station because they had those little delis inside the gas station. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the same stomach issues that I have right now. Like, like I'm like grossed out right now. I started to get, I started to sweat. I got cold. My stomach started to hurt. I just could not shake whatever I wanted. I wanted to throw up. I wanted, I was, I, I had every symptom. And ever since then, I will not eat anything ever again, unless it's coffee. I will not eat anything from a gas station. Uh, that like them sandwiches you see and those egg sandwiches and those, uh, uh, I, I, that somebody is waiting, waiting to get sick off of that. Yeah, I won't. Because they don't, they don't throw their food away. I don't know, Aristi. The ladies says, where are the other ladies from the group? I don't know. I just kind of popped in here at 6 in the morning. I wasn't really anticipating to have a lot of people here. Um, they're probably just out there. You know, I guess we're not. I shouldn't say. <laughs> say it, mate. Say it. Say it. Don't spray it. Yeah. Say it. I guess I'm not Mandy. Oh my God! You said it. I am. Oh, look at that picture. Do you still have that uh, mask? Because uh, you, I remember you ordering it. Um, I don't have any, but I'm sure there could be possibly. I think we ordered those from. Um, didn't we order those from? Um, oh, no, you took no. I think you. I uh, the project itself oh the one that you made i probably do upstairs in the, in the attic because i got yeah. i cleaned out when i got cleaned out my craft room uh-huh donated all the stuff in my craft room 
I all the projects were upstairs, yeah. uh, upstairs in the attic. So I'm sure it, if Eric pulled out boxes from upstairs, I'm sure it's upstairs. Oh yeah, I love that vase. I love doing that. That was so neat. I'm over here. I found one of my old school albums of my projects I did years ago. And uh, some of them are- Hi, Evelyn. yes. Evelyn's always gonna be here. Evelyn's always, e e Evelyn's one of us. E is Evelyn an OG? What's an OG? Huh? Old, old girl? Yeah, no, it's like, a, she's like, uh, an OG. she's like the godfather of, basically the saying is, is like, you're the godfather of whatever it is you do. Like, uh, she's an old friend, you know, like, yeah, that prestige, you, uh, soror, so, uh, seniority. That's yeah. what it means. Like, like I say, we're the OGs of YouTube because we started in 2011. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she is. She's always, she's been there with me through thick and thin. Yeah. It's no, it's not insulting. It's, uh, like you're the, like a like a founder maybe yeah i got i got those group of ladies like miss jackie huff um miss jamie uh -huh. people that did with you people that has yeah yeah miss penny nana evelyn Rich, oh my gosh people have slept through me with all my crazy shenanigans <laughs> All of these projects I found in this collection is all my shabby chic stuff I've ever made. Do you remember the album that you did for laces? The the one that you designed for laces? Uh-huh. I yeah. remember that one. You designed the one. Yeah, I'm over here looking at this. Uh, speaking, of, speaking of Miss Janie, there she is. Good morning, Miss Janie. How are you? Aristi sticking around. She says that no one can have Buford until she gets her money. Nobody, what? We were trying to, um, we were having fun the other night. And oh. We were auctioning out Buford, this, this guy that I know. Oh, okay. I was like, what? And Aristi said that she had to get um, the payment, the form of payment was um, she had to get Tim Holtz stuff or any craft supplies. Prima was good. And so uh, Buford is single. And so we were trying to find him somebody. He does little crafty things every now and then. You remember those little dress forms I made using a Barbie? Forms. Oh, the little uh, bodices. The, yeah, the bodices. The, uh, uh, gesso or not gesso? What do you paper mache or something? Yeah, like that. I'm thinking about uh, doing something with that. I remember that that dress form you made. That was freaking awesome. Oh yeah. You're not feeling great. Ah, uh, what's wrong? I'm not feeling so good. I came on here to try to forget about my stomach issue. I'm over here crunching on ice. Oh, I, I want to see that makes me feel good. Maybe when Eric wakes up, he can get me some ice to make my stomach feel better. Yeah, I, what ice does is it it slows the gurgling and the mm -hmm. process, you know. Also not good for your iron, but, you know, when my stomach is, when I'm anxious or my stomach I like I get in bad anxieties. May I think you need to make one of these. This is pulling an old school um, thing we did together. You need to make another one because I think your vintage stuff will look amazing with it. What is it? Is that a spool? Yeah. Oh, is that like the snippet spool? Right. Well, scroll through the pictures. Yeah, like a little snippet spool. Yeah. I think you need to make one of those using your vintage stuff. Oh, I didn't know you did that. When did you do that? I told you back in 2012. 
Holy cow, that was a long time ago. I know. I found my old album of projects I did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need to revisit some. All of this stuff I'm showing you is from my album. I did some snippets. Did you see my snippet? Because I keep seeing people doing snippets. And I'm like, I did some snippets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I remember Michelle did snippets, and uh, she called them snippet rolls. So yeah, like, I mean, I need to be awesome. Hell, I think I still have a stress form I made. I've never done a snippet roll. I've never done that. You're bringing out some really old projects. That one dress form you made a couple years ago, we ended up doing a kit in 2014. Yep. Um, that one, that one was beautiful. That one, I remember we had to use drywall tape because I went to you know, Home Depot and I don't need to get the drywall tape for it. And, um, that one was beautiful. I sent the uh, one kit to, what's her name in California from the Crash Star, now that I remember. <laughs> That's when we did that one big kit. That was a big kit. Yes, it was. And even one of them shipped to Australia. I don't remember who bought it, but someone bought it. Bought the kit that that kit. I can't remember who it was because you did it really mixed media. Steampunk. It was like a steampunk dress form that you made. I can't remember. Yeah, I've got pictures of it. I think I still have it. That one was really nice. You guys need to see that one. Put the link on it. If you find it, put the link of the pictures there on the thing so they can see what you made. Some of your old projects. Yeah, I'll share my album. It says, I agree, Arisabel. When they get together, they act the same the way sometimes. What? If they act that way, Jamie, they should stay alone. We don't have to put up with bad manners. Oh, yeah. Plus, Jane, you did... You did see a stupid guy in the chat. How rude he was. Oh, yeah, that guy was kind of weird and creepy. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, another dress form, um, Evelyn. It was um, a steampunk kind of dress form she made. And um, we did a kit with it, and she taught it. She made one first, and then she said, we should do this kit. And then um, we did the kit, and she taught it in 2014. Yeah, let me find a, here, I'll find a picture. Because she had done it before. I think you did it, you did the, you did original class on it in 2012 or something. And then you told me uh, some people wanted to do, take, do that kit again or something. And so well, I, here's the link to it. Uh, it was a very successful kit. And if um, I can get enough people interested, I can do it. I can do another yeah. She could probably do it because she still got all those accounts. She can open, she could order wholesale. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was very vintage. Yeah, click on that link. I didn't watch the live, I watched the replay. And thank God I wasn't there because I would have reacted badly. Oh, <laughs> Risty. Oh, who's calling? I need it. How do you turn off those um, alerts from video chats? Ooh. I need to do that because I'm not. Wow, this is like, God, this is stuff I made back in 2012. Wow. You remember those shabby chic reeves we did? Yeah, we did a live video on it. Uh-huh. You have you have a link we did it on your channel on your Ustream. Yeah, uh I think I got one on YouTube. 
But yeah, it was gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? It's really different. It's really steampunk. And then she cut out the center and she used dry tape. Yeah. Um. It almost looked like a mesh popping. It's like an explosive dress form. Let me go get it. I still have it. Hang on. My stomach is still acting up. Oh my gosh. And I ate crackers. It's not helping. The last time we went to this same place, Eric got sick. Now it's me, so it's got to be this place. I'm not going there anymore. Oh, yeah, I still have it, May. Oh, guys, you got to see this. I'm going to put the camera solo on her. You guys got to see this. Okay, hang on. Let me see what I'm doing here. Okay. There's the front. Oh, there's the drywall. I can see it right here. Yeah, right here. I put I put slices in it. See, so like right here. That was pretty cool. And then right here, I cut inside. And inside of it has a, a compartment. So, see, it stands about this tall it's got dust on it <laughs> but yeah i've made drink some herbal tea i'm gonna have to drink some camel tea because this is killing it Ugh. let's see yeah i put uh jewelry on this oh gosh it is dusty it's been a pair since 2011 but um but yeah, if this is something you would like me to revisit and do, show you how to do all that. You know, when we did that kit, I never got to keep one because I sent mines to that lady in California. Yeah, this is using a uh, graphic 45 paper. And see, I even did a crackling technique on here. And this is using that graphic 45 paper. Nope. I think it turned out really pretty. Yeah, I did. I love I the bows. I remember we were trying to find there was some be beveled charm from Tim Holt that we had to track down. Oh my God, we had such a hard time tracking some of the pieces for that. <laughs> oh, I know. It was. Some of it was just ridiculous trying to find. It is beautiful. I think you should redo that. Yeah, um, I could. I know where the stress forms are, and stuff. You know, you probably have to change things around because some of those supplies are no no longer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have to change it around and stuff. You would have I to. Said yes, Angela. I would love to try my my hands on that. I think. It was beautiful when she did it. I think it'd be beautiful to recap. So if I build a kit, would I wonder if people would buy it? The dress form is not sold in store. You, it's a wholesale. Uh, it's sold. Um, it's only one supplier that sells it, but you can't go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any store. It was. It's hard to get that dress form. Oh yeah, it's just it's exclusive wholesale. Uh, I yeah. still have the, the wholesale account. It's exclusively um, sold to this manufacturer, but I love it. I have another dress form I started in there, mm -hmm. but this is that one I showed y'all in the pictures. God, this one, like That's I said, it's, one. it's it's hard. It's a uh, really durable. Love it, love it, love it, and see. When I shipped it, 
You have my um, boxes. Well, what? No, I took the base of it right here is only glued on right there. So what I did was is took the base off and then I told them to re-glue it. Do what? I mean, I'm just talking to Eric. Um, Evelyn said she would buy the kit. I'm going to mute myself here because I'm telling Eric to give me something here. So I'm going to. Okay. Okay. Evelyn says she wants the kit. Well, let me do some. Will it, let me figure out how I want to do it. And then um, because the kit. I think I, I think it was 75. I'd have to go. I, I would have to go and revisit or whatever. But I love I love stuff like this. I love creating stuff. Oh, and I remember I did a wedding dress one. And then I did one out of paper. And um, but yeah, these are I love these. I love those. And it's just so vintage. Would y'all want to see one? Um, like this one is my mixed media one. I would want to do a mixed media one. Um, and then do uh, maybe do a kit doing this. And then, of course, you can add your own stuff to it. Your own little charms. See, I would have to find some charms to go on there and stuff to hang because I don't even know you could find. See, like this little charm here. Oh, my battery's running low. Hang on. Got a... Yeah, that was a nice. That was a nice kit. I remember. Yeah, and then you made an angel one. Yeah, I made an angel one. Yeah. That one was full of laces, and I got I got to make my um, my wings. Yeah. Out of that, but I just I don't have that ruffled lace. I got to track down that ruffled lace. I know. Oh, I tell you what, what? Ugh. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to make you guys sick. I'm sure y'all don't mean. Well, oh, here's the one I made out of paper. Uh, May look. Hold up. Oh my god. Like, remember this one? I made a, a silver paper skirt. Here, I'll share it in the chat. Okay, here. Go to that one. That one I made um, out of paper. The skirt was paper. And the, uh, you remember. The oh, I remember. Yes, and you know what the bodice is made out of? You remember that that crinkle paper we got that was, it felt like it was elastic and it was really crinkled and you could stretch it and mold it any way you wanted? I molded that bodice. That's nice. Uh-huh. Dress. Yep, I did that. The skirt is uh, spray painted silver um, after I did the um, the paper. It looks like a 1960 or 1950s dress. Oh, yeah. See, you can, you can really dress those up. Like, you can make them paper, yeah, grungy like that one. You can make them frou-frou. You can be a little more in, innovative and use the... Cause see, what I did, what, that bodice come out so beautiful. That bodice was perfect. Perfect. And then... Um, Oh, yeah, I did a lot. God, all these break back memories. Holy crap. It makes you wonder, like, what the heck happened? Like, you know, it's like I look at some of my old work. It's like it, you can see the changes. But then you're wondering, how did you lose your mojo? Like, where did you get to the point where, you know, like you lost the interest to do things like that? You know, it's it was because of the bullying remember we were bullied so bad we were bullied every day because we were doing something right and people just couldn't they couldn't uh accept what how that song goes uh you can't take my juice or whatever it's like 
it, people, I swear, me and May went through hell. I, I, you know, you get to the point where you're like, you look at your work and it's like, I want to be able to do that kind of stuff again. Like, I'm not much of a mixed media per se because I don't like my hands dirty. I love it, but I just don't like my hands dirty. I think it's beautiful and I think I leave it for the experts on. I mean, I'll dabble in it. Um, like, I will work in it. But I'm not a mixed media per se person. Like I leave that to the experts like you, you know, that's done it so much. I I I try not to mix with things that I'm not familiar too much with. Like not afraid to mess with it, but I'm just saying there's people do that do better work on it than me. So I just leave it for them. But you have skills, how do you that make you you know I just, I, I think I stick to what I, I mean, I branch out of things that I branch out with other things, but I'm not passionate about it. I think after listening to Tiffany and Karen Tamar, where they did videos of things that they wish they knew before they got into, you got to watch their videos where Karen talks about, she wish she went and started doing card making. Well, I'm not really a card maker. Um, hi, Anna. I'm not really a card maker. I'm not really, um, you know, like she said, she wasn't really a card maker. She wasn't, she, she tried scrapbooking. She realized she wasn't into scrapbooking. She tried card making. She realized she wasn't into card. It's like she was trying to find her niche. And what you have to do. Yeah. You have to go through different things to find what it is that you would enjoy replicating all the time. Right, right. Like my niche, I like doing vintage, grungy things like this. This is me. This, this is where, you know, you. Um, of course, someone said the other day when I posted the other ones, "Wow, you did those so fast." Well, it's because it's something that I like and I'm used to doing. But if it's something that I'm not comfortable with, it takes me a little bit more of a challenge. So I'm not saying that I won't try it, but I'm just I'm not comfortable with working with it. You got to know your niche. So she said that she went through different doing different things and she realized that what she liked doing was art journals and that type of mixed media stuff. She liked that. Like she tried many things, but she didn't like she went and bought all these different sizes of gel press because she thought she could get into it. She bought all these stamps because she thought she could make all these neat things. And then she realized that was a waste of money. You have to find your niche. You have to find what you're really good at and stick to it. And I think after looking at myself, I do like doing like the junk journals. I, I think I kind of do pretty good. I don't like decorating stuff. I'm not a decorator. Right. Um, but I like doing vintage things. Now that, that I do like. So I'm trying to stick to what I like so I'm not wasting money on stuff that I would never use again. May could turn the camera to use the weekend. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm over here jumping on ice and all you see is my face. You're muted, May. Is she still on? There you go. It's like, I think that's the thing with crafters is they have to find their niche. Like one thing, and then one thing that maybe we need to talk about when we do these things is they have to find what they're really into. What what cause what draws them more into crafting? Because when you when you're just creating random stuff because it's coming out now, especially now with creativation, people are gonna be like jumping all over the place to get all this new stuff, but then are you gonna use it? Are you really gonna use it? And that's a question that all crafters need to ask each other. Are you going to use that after creativation is said and done? Because, you know, if you're not and it's not something that you're used to doing, then there's no sense of you spending the money on that a nice new tool. Uh, 
that's where I am. That's that's the point that I'm in. I, I want to be able to create things, but I want to be able to feel comfortable. What I'm making is me, like my signature look. You know, like I wouldn't sit there and make a mixed media canvas because I know I'm not the best at it. Um, well, I just stick to what I know, I guess. I think that's, I think, I think that's, that's how I am. Because I see people that are out there doing it and they're wasting products. Like, Really? Oh yeah, I was never the one that like, had to poor, rush out. Those pour paints to me are a waste of products. Waste of paint. Like I wouldn't do it because it's a waste. It's messy and it's a waste of paint. Good paint. It is. Have you ever done that? I, I've never done it because I just thought it was too messy. I already make enough messes with my other stuff that I made that I couldn't sit there and pour paint. No. I'm not into it. I guess you have to be into it to like it. I mean, if you're into it, that's great. If you're not, I haven't decided yet, Aristi. I'm not sure what I want. The headache of a man. Ha ha. Ha ha. What me and May, okay, we're trying to gather donations up to, we're not trying, the donation money we're gathering, one, pays for the stream yard we use. Also, it affords us to uh, do giveaways and prizes. Mm -hmm. It also affords us to try these new products and uh, do the product reviews and stuff um, and teach y'all how, teach y'all classes, teach you, uh, like, I do the grow stream every Friday. People, what I teach you every Friday, what me and May teach you every Friday, people charge up to $350 an hour for and I'm doing it all for free. I what I'm doing is, is that me and May through the years have had so many doors slammed in our face, and and our mission for 2020 is instead of letting them let y'all hit the brick wall and the door slamming in your face, why don't we guide them uh, in the direction that we eventually had learned, so you don't get that, and you know. Keeping up with, um, see, I had to close my store. I had to close my Wix store because I can't afford StreamYard in my store. So I, what I done was, is I talked to May and I balanced it out. I'm like, May, do you think I should keep the store or do we need to do the StreamYard um, for the, uh, you know, for a little bit? And I said, you know, what we're doing is very important and I think the payoff of helping y'all is more important than me run, running a store. Yeah, like I was talking to her, me particularly, like I had a website once and it cost me a lot of money to have my website and I had to pay someone to create my website and now with, you know, Carla and I launching out the laces, which we haven't been able to get a whole bunch of focus on it because of school, but I don't have the time to sit there and upload and measure the sizes of laces, take pictures and this and that. And I talked to Eric the other night after um, Angela had said she was going to shut down her, or she shut down her store. I said, I really don't have time to create a website. Like I don't have that kind of time in my schedule, nor do I want to pay 38 bucks for the website because I was doing that until I get it up and running. And I'm like, that's like wasted money right there that I could be using for something else more productive. So we talked about, and about Etsy. And Etsy has, I, I, I have to read, I haven't had time since we talked about reading Etsy. Etsy has changed their policies, but now they have different 
formats. But my problem is, again, there was a time where I measured to pictures and this and that. I just don't have that kind of time anymore um, in my schedule. It's like my schedule is kind of crazy with school. Uh, yeah, Janie, uh, Risty wants her, her, her money for Buford. Oh, gosh. Do what now? Uh, Risty is so funny. Uh, there's this guy, I was telling you Buford, he's single, and Risty was auctioning him off. And, um, she says that she would take, she will take money in forms of the, Form of payment would be craft supplies, Tim Holtz, Prima, Finabar. Oh, yeah. Anything, anything for Buford. But um, yesterday she was telling me, they better not They better not bypass me. They better pay me. <laughs> <laughs> but if y'all find it on your heart to want to donate towards me and May's purpose for 2020, and that is the grow streams and creating crafty classes of uh, together like we did the other night the um jelly plate we had fun doing that we each created different designs i used alcohol inks and she used acrylic paint and we did that for like four hours i can't believe we did it for four hours it felt it, it the, the time just flowed wonderfully you were on for four hours yeah four Holy moly. we were having too much fun Wow, I didn't realize we were on that long. Well, you know, I I I love crafting. I do. It's my sense of um, it's my getaway. It's my um, it's how I release stress. It's how I deal with anxiety. It's also how I deal with depression um, because I focus on what I'm making and not focusing on my problems. Um, and so I enjoy it a lot. Um, and I'm not recording as much because, like I said, my, my camera, my Logitech system is glitching. And so it starts to freeze up. And then I got to shut it off and then boot it back up. And then by the time I do all that, it's a pain. But May, read, my, read your Facebook message. Haha, <laughs> write a wristy. But I can't afford to buy all those supplies. Yeah, she's got an expensive taste, a wristy. <laughs> Uh, well, you know what they say here in the South? They say you got a, a champagne taste on a beer oh. budget. <laughs> oh, you see, hold on, let me send you the link, hon. Yeah, we just got to, uh, like me, per se, I can, I can jump on here and do a quick little chit-chat craft. Being, I will when it's something that's complex where I need to do teach step by step. I'll do a private recorded. But you know, Streamyard lets you record, and I I just saw that you can record with Streamyard. Yeah, I record it, and um, well, I'm gonna start doing that because my Logitech is screwed up, where it starts to um, it starts to spin, where it's thinking about what it's doing, and then it'll stop recording, and then. I'll put it, I turn it off, turn it back on, and then I think I'm recording because I hit record. And when I look up, it's not, rec it's not recording. So I have to shut it down, shut it back. So it's because it's an old camera. Um, but I just read that StreamYard, the one that I have, lets you record eight hours. I can record eight hours. Of course, I'm never. That's the, yeah, that's the option we per uh Yeah. I yeah, That's something I purchased too. The eight-hour street uh, recording. You can stream unlimited, but reading it, you can record up to eight hours. So um, I thought, you know what? Mm, I'm gonna turn my feet off. Aristi, I sent it to you. Um, I like the bit, the ability to be able to record. So. Um, you can hear, you can sometimes hear my computer because Aristi heard my computer the other day. She says, what is that loud noise? I said, you can hear it? She says, yeah. I said, that's my, um, that's my computer. The motor is messed up. You probably need to take the, the side off and blow out everything because 
that's what happened to mine and the the fan got wore out because it just had too much well um eric, uh, eric said he was going to get the because clayton said it might be the fan to replace the fan so was it so what we're going to do because carla's boyfriend had also said that but we've repaired it twice and Carla's boyfriend looked at it, and he says it's the fan. And then Clayton said it, it's the fan. So Eric said we can get the fan replaced. So we're going to do that, replace the fan. See if that's the problem that it's getting. You can hear it sounds like it's grinding. And it was from a, a RISD. I sent you the link. It's when we had a, a the computer was in a garage. We had a cost here and it was too the cold was too much for it and it kind of messed it up where's the oh jamie you should do a collaboration with other girls and get me a huge pack of craft supplies and buy him all together and then use him one day one girl the other day oh, oh Risty, you are just she is so set on this view for it and Jamie is, and trying to see who would get the highest bid for him. <laughs> oh, God. And then uh, Chris, the blind guy, he was asking, her, do you guys have um, a bid going for me? I, and Tina said, I don't know. It was on May's channel. Aristi, do you have a bid going for Chris, the blind guy? No. What now? Who? We went live the other night, and we were. Oh, okay. We we have this thing called uh, crafters, um, because we got a lot of crafty ladies that are single. All the single ladies. Oh, yes. single ladies. And so oh, we were trying to match play matchmaker, and so <clears throat> play matchmaker means is that we're gonna we were talking about building a website for crafters. You know how they have farmers only. You don't have to be lonely at farmersonly.com. <laughs> it's a dating site for farmers. <laughs> so I said, we're going to do a website for a dating site for crafters, but they have to be men that understand that we're crafty ladies. Well, I'm not single, but for these ladies, they have to be a man that understands that these crafty ladies will drop the big bucks in crafty supplies and won't have a problem with their shopping aholic abilities and so um lourdes was talking about it <clears throat> and she said yeah you bring them we bling them so that's our catch logo you bring them we bling them <laughs> <laughs> i like that <laughs> so there's a couple guys that are single too. And we were trying to get a risky hooked up. Not sure how we ended up with a risky turning it around. So a risky started um, offer him up to the other eligible bachelorettes. And she said, well, if you ladies want him, you have to give me craft supplies for him. <laughs> <laughs> so hey but that's not a bad idea because you know in order to date a crafter you have to understand a crafter in order to be married to a crafter you have to understand a crafter because you know we're going to spend money even when times are rough we're going to spend money on craft supplies <laughs> well i i'm gonna have since i closed my store um and i'm on such a tight budget it i don't know what i'm gonna do you're going to have to start selling your stuff, hon. You're going to have to start selling your digitals and make kits like you used to because you used to sell kits. I know. And, and you did really well with your digitals. Well, I had a bunch of digitals up in my, you know, the very first ones I had, I had up in uh, my store and I advertised them, but nobody bought them. So oh, we just got to pump it out. Hi, Aristi. Hello. How are you? We're good. Good morning. How, what time is it there in Greece? Here it's <coughs> it's 7 p.m., 7.20 p.m. 
Wow, it's 9 18 a.m. here. Yeah, that's an 18 hour difference. Hi, Tina Adams. Hello, welcome. If you're new to the channel, please hit thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Angela also has a channel, or Risty has a channel. Hit these ladies up. Yep. I've Hello, been subbing uh, to people um, through here. Yes, uh, put your link there, Angela, so she can sub. And Aristi also has our channel. What are you making, Aristi? You know, I have to sit down and do the journal. You're still so. working on that journal. They, it's yep. freezing here. I forgot what sunshine is. Well, I'll be, be back in a minute. I've, I've got to run to the ladies' room. I'll be right back. Okay, hon. I got ice. It'll pop my stomach. I like those paper. I like that. This is uh, not the kit that I will work now. This is the kit that I will work now. You will see it. It's the peonia. This is the botanical one. It's an amazing. I love that. I love those flowers. Yeah, it's the botanical one. And believe it or not, it's actually ephemeras. But if you print them, you can see that, that it makes full-size pages also. Oh, I'm so glad to you. It's an ephemera kit and it comes with many, many, many <coughs> printables. I'm subscribing. I've been subscribing and I've been following Angela forever. Angela, she went to the potty. When she comes back, Tina, I want to put you up highlighted. So she can read that when she comes in. That's the corner part I have told you. It's like the one that we are memory keeper has. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, but the problem with that is you can't use that on chipboard. No, it doesn't fit because you know you see here it's the gap. You have to enter it, and you can fit. Uh, Two thick uh, items in there. I'm trying to find that tsunami rose one. Did you said it's botanical because I was looking at her work. Um, it's in the ephemeras. Let me see. You'll put the link to that. Oh, oh my stomach is. Oh, I see. It's just um, she's got two. She's got two sets. She's got several sets. Yeah, she has several sets of botanicals. Which one is that one though? Because she's got 30. 32. I don't know now. I can find out if you go and search later. Uh, it's uh, She has several sets with botanicals and they are coming many. I mean, each set has many images inside. Yeah. Those are pretty though. Yeah, it has plenty, plenty. And you can see it's a real botanic. You can see the plant and you can see the every part of the plant, not just the flowers, the roots, the leaves. The, uh, it's amazing. It's really amazing. And it comes with many. Can you see how many it is in one? And I haven't printed the whole thing. See how many pages they come. And I haven't printed the whole thing because it was some plants I wouldn't like. And all that, it's botanical, all this. Oh, no, not all this. These are the maps. These are the maps, another kit. These are also ephemera, and they, they are maps. I need to get my computer, my printer connected to my printer. So, I have three. My computer connected to my printer. I think I said that. Different kits here, and I always have to push. It's for the three different journals here. You got three journals? Let me see. Oh, that one's pretty. That's the latest kit that we have to work, and it comes with pretty, um, how you call it, ephemeras. And it's called, and it comes in two different sizes. This is the traveler notebook size. 
I joined the crafty Facebook group too, and while conducting both for ideas for my business. And this is the normal size. This is normal page size, and this is the traveler's notebook. Obviously, you can see they have a big difference here. And I print them in. I print each. Um, I print one page in normal size and one in travel, so you can have variation. And I think this is called Peonia something. Oh my God, I can remember. This is a nice one. This is her latest one, and it's all collage. And I like. Oh, okay. The colors are nice. Okay. So this is the kit. Okay. And this is the traveler's notebook page, the smaller one. Traveler's, not traveler's notebook page. It has it in two sizes, in normal and traveler's notebook, because traveler's notebook it's more narrow, long yeah. and narrow. This is another page. So I print one page in big size and one page in small size. The pages are stunning. I like the collage pages that he does, like uh Charming fragments. I like this kit also. It's called peonia something. You know, the flower peonia because it has peonias. These flowers are peonias. Yeah. Hey, Tina, what is your business? What business are you building? I, know that. I like that one. That yeah. one, you know what? That would look good with the blues with denim. If you did a denim cover. Oh, it has also, uh, it has also two other pages that I have to print them in stronger... This is the other one. Can you see it? Yeah, those are blueprints. It's blue, really blue, 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 blue. And this is the other one. I have to print them in cardstock, these two. I have to print them in soft to make envelopes. But I have to also to print them in cardstock. Those remind me of blueprints. Let's find the camera a bit and take the zoom out, out of focus out. Uh, now let me see. Okay, I remove the autofocus because it's annoying. I don't know if I should put laces on the edges or not. On oh, what? On the pages, on these pages. I don't know if I should put laces on the edges. Put the camera on you too, so people can see what you're making. I don't know if I put any laces on that either. I kind of like that. Do you stress the edges of all your pages? Do I what? Do you distress the edges of your pages? Yeah. I don't. The pages, the big pages, I don't. It's too much energy. <laughs> If it's, you know, the envelopes, the inserts and all that, I do it, but uh, when oh it comes God. to... That one's a little wider, isn't it? Did you trim that one? What it was? That one. Is that for a travel or a junk journal? Okay. Because that Let one's me a little start. wider than the travel. This is the traveler's not traveler's yeah. notebook size and this is the normal size so if you can wow. see here's the difference yeah. can you see it's two yeah. two fingers wider each yeah, page it this wider. one makes a narrow thing so you can insert it but uh, when you put them like that you have layers and so you can see underneath that's why i print some pages in traveler's notebook size and put them in regular uh, uh, I so got you, you can see so you can see the layers. You're it's not so pages it's easy when you see the different size of pages in a journal, so you can see underneath. 
and it's so not put different layers and different sizes. Yeah. I'm just holding it. I mean, Stanley said that's beautiful or gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, I love that stuff. Or uh, Rusty. It's so Thank pretty. you. It's it's tsunami North Designs papers. Um. Did you see what Tina wrote? Tina wrote, Tina Adams said she's been following you forever. Oh, me? Following me? Yeah. Oh, awesome, Tina. Wow. I love meeting, you know, rekindling online friendships like that. Let's see. Turn the cover to use you, May. With the camera on me? Yeah. She said she joined a crafty. Facebook group through and will be contacting us both for ideas for her business. Okay. Let me go over there. Let me go. I asked her um, what was her business about. Well, it says six people want to join. Awesome. There's been a lot of people joining in the last week. Yeah. It's because we're getting out there. We're helping people. And they're telling their people. But see, any donation made to me and May, it goes right back into the community. Tracy. Tina Adams wants to make digital kits in the future. Oh, then you need to contact Angela because she's teaching that. I don't know if you have any, do you have experience with digitals? There's a trade in that. <laughs> what, they're wanting to learn how to do digis? Oh, uh, no. I don't know if she already has experience with it. That's what your business is going to be. Yeah, I've, I'm charging uh, seventy-five dollars a class because I, I, uh, if I, I, if I wanted to, I could charge about four fifty to six hundred dollars a class, and I just thought seventy-five was well rounded because in my classes I give you like. Adobe brushes that I have. I give you graphics to work with. And, you know, the class includes not only my teaching, but my graphics. Hey, do you want to see a funny thing? Yep. Look what the cat did. Your cat? That's done by the kitty. What is it? Yarn? It was a brand new, untouched, good quality yarn. <laughs> Look what it did. It took it from the shelf and it dragged it all around. Look what it did. I would kill that cat. <laughs> I had a heart attack. I can't I had the heart attack. Thing. My cat did the same thing to a, um, grab the yarn that I had bought and she took it downstairs and did the exact same thing. They must have I had the heart attack. I was chasing him and he was looking at me like, 
What woman? What? 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 What do you want? <laughs> You're fascinated. Uh, cats are fascinated by yarn, I think, because mine did the same thing with the yarn I had. She was looking into me and like, what? What? I didn't do anything. <laughs> they love yarn. I don't know what it is about yarn that they love. Yep. Heart attack. Yeah. It was my precious. It was. It's a good quality. You can see it on camera. It's actually a spring yarn. It's not a winter yarn. The quality is more silky, and it's amazing. And <coughs> I had it untouched. Untouched. You see and he found his way. When you see how that place had him for a dollar, the the dollar. The yarn Sometimes you can go in there and you can get someone who's not wanting to add it up and they'll give you a really good deal because they really don't want to sit there and count everything. <laughs> Sometimes you get people that, you know, they're going to go and make pick every little item. But I did find a cute little suitcase that was a vintage suitcase. Yeah, that suitcase was a deal. Yeah, and the buttons, the buttons was a deal because I told you in the China side, those type of buttons, the simple uh, white acrylic ones, they, they look like acrylic, I don't know what kind quality it is, they are expensive for some reason. I think so. Uh, I'll get Eric to bring it up. Hold on. What she's talking about is that, you know, even Angela, I want to make a road trip to Angela's. I really do. I want to have to make a road trip. Hold on. Yeah, the, the creative rescue where Angela is, it's super, super, super inexpensive. Yeah, I want to go to Angela's. I really want to visit Tennessee this summer and get some of that stuff that they have there. I know. You should go to Joyce if you visit Tennessee. Yeah, I, I said I'm going to make a road trip this summer. I'm going to hit Joyce, Miss Penny, and I'm going to hit Angela. Because that place is close to you, isn't it, Angela? Yeah, I only live like 30, 25, 30 minutes from it. I want to hit it. I've heard they have awesome stuff in yeah, it. Yeah, I want to hit it this uh, coming week. Yeah, I'm going to get Danny to take me. Well, you go. You better put me on camera. Hell <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. You should, you should do a camera, a live uh, YouTube camera thing. I have to ask them if they'll give me permission to do that. Some places won't let you do it. Ours does. I took a wristy to ours yesterday. Yeah, and we were talking to the cashier, and the cashier will visit the 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 will visit Greece this summer with her son. Yeah, the cashier said hi to Aristi from the counter. She was all uh, they were talking to each other on camera. Mm -hmm. But I went in, and mine doesn't have all the neat things that you guys, I've heard you guys have. Like, I've heard you guys have some massive good stuff. You just don't have the patience to search, and they have huge, uh, huge, way bigger department with fabrics than you have. Plus, they don't have prices like you have. Yeah, mine has prices. Mine's pretty pricey. I don't know about yeah, you. Yeah, mine's pricey. pricey. Some some of the stuff on our store is a little bit like they had stamping up a block die one dot one stamp four dollars one stamp four dollars like no way oh I bought it I want I want to go to the I want to go to your your thrift store. But you guys also have all those good goodwill because I remember when your mom used to go to the goodwill and show us what she picked up. Oh, my still does that. Oh my God, you guys would pick up some amazing stuff at the goodwill there. I tell you what, when I went to Arizona and stuff, um, I went by their goodwill. There was two goodwills close to where I was staying. And where I was staying was the ritzy part of that area. And their Goodwills were given, like, we're talking expensive throw rugs, expensive all of this for, like, five bucks. Because it come from all these ritzy places. 
My box, my I remember once it was a lady that she was streaming in Facebook because we are Facebook friends and she went to a goodwill and I was so because do you know what she uh, she pointed? It was a cabinet with two drawers on the bottom and glass uh, and shelves and glass, you know, drawers on the top for you to put your, you know, porcelain and stuff, but you can use it in your craft room. And it was $25, that thing. Yeah, $25. I know. It I know. was told me, it was told me, it was over one yard wide, maybe one and a half yard wide, told me, and it was a stunning piece. And you could paint that if you don't like it, because it was the wood color. And it was so amazing that you can put it in your living room as decoration and put your china there, but you can put it in your craft room also. Do you want to what store are we talking about? We're talking about um, the creative reuse. I know our state calls it the creative reuse. Angela has, what is it called there where you are? Rescue. Rescue. Oh, God, I would have to get Stacy to tell me. I can't. She knows exactly. Rescue. I think the next time Stacy goes, I'm going to make sure I'm going. Well, um, Aristi said that because Aristi follows uh, Stacy. It's called Creative Rescue. I don't follow. Hang I on. I remember in the past when I saw a, a live stream from her and it was called Creative Rescue. What the heck is wrong with your hair? It's just cold. Yeah. Oh heck no! You better watch that. That looks awful. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> and the <laughs> other store we're talking <laughs> about is the Goodwill, G. My Goodwill. They tend to think that. It, what am I getting called? My goodwill tends to think that everything has to be pricey and everything here is like expensive. Maybe you have maybe you have different different tax uh, rates there because as far as I know USA they don't have the same tax rates in all states. No, so maybe it's not. Who knows? Who knows? Not the tax rate is just the area. It depends on what area you are. I think when whenever you're in an area where it's ghetto um i don't know if because they think that there's a need for re, uh, recycled stuff that they're going to increase the prices on stuff i don't know i'm not saying that my town is ghetto but damn sure it's not um worthy of the isn't that a bit ironic because in the rich places the stuff are cheaper and the poor places the stuff are more yeah. expensive yeah it is ironic it's just because on the when they when it's a um a town that i'm not going to say it's ghetto our town is not ghetto <laughs> but when it's a town that is not um how would you rich. Call it? rich wealthy yeah wealthy town um you get things that are cheaper at thrift stores because you know they donate all that stuff but when you have a town like mine that there's a lot of um people middle class people working class people um and they're in a need for used items you know they're going to increase the price because there's a need for it it's called um bigger demand so the demand raises yeah. the price the man the demands of it makes the price of it go up so my town because it's it's a working class town um everyone has to work to make a living and people are always looking for used items um the prices tend to go up but i want to hit that town where angela's in and i want to i'm going to show you guys what i got yesterday um hold on and I, I mean, I got a fairly good price for my stuff because it's, it is a, a rescue place. But, hold on. So I got a big old box of envelopes. Turn the camera to you. I got a big box of envelopes to alter envelopes for three bucks. Oh, 
Um, so I'm going to copy dye those. But look at my suitcase. All I was ecstatic about this. And you probably can't see it really well because of my... These are old. Like you can't really tell. Can you see that? And it's in good, in good condition also. I got it. Oh. This is an antique suitcase. I love that kind of stuff. It's a I, cosmetic suitcase. It's yeah. the small one for the ladies to uh, hold on the handle. And the maker of it was J.C. Higgins. And someone decoupaged the top, which is ugly. But I'm going to alter it. If you can remove the decoupage. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And so let's see what I got inside. And the reason they sold it so cheap was they thought they could they thought they couldn't open it. Ah. What did you do? I dropped all my buttons and stuff. I'm gonna have to go pull out the trash after this. Anyway, um, I got my thing of buttons, so I'm gonna have to go to the trash and pull my buttons out. Oh, do you see how I hydro dipped my nails last night? I did, I like that. I think they turned out really pretty. You know, you can use that hydro dipping technique. Uh, I'm thinking about, uh, I'm going to try different mediums. And I'm thinking about doing uh, some hydro dipping of shapes and stuff to show people how you can make really creative art. I think that was really neat. This is where I hate having no space in your craft room when you're limited and you're trying to work in a certain spot. Oh, yeah. And then I just try to work in a certain spot and knock all my buttons and they end up in the trash. So now I'm going to dig through my trash to get buttoned up. Because all my buttons are in the trash now. Yay, me. I'm so ecstatic about that. Um. Holy cow, that's a buttload of buttons. Give me a second, guys, because we don't throw away buttons here, even if I have to dig through the trash. Did you use a dip on your nails? No, what I did was is I grabbed me different colors of fingernail polish and I dipped I did the hydro dipping technique, dipped my finger in there, um, and I had painted around my finger. Uh it's this stuff called um oh it, it's like a a, ru a pillable rubber that goes around your finger and then you dip your finger in there and then you just peel it off and you you know, your finger's not messed up or anything with the fingernail polish. And then once they were dipped, um, I added some deco art gold leaf flakes on them. Uh -huh. And then uh, sealed them with the clear fingernail polish. You'll have to do a video on that. I, I got a dip, a nail dip thing. And I don't like it too much work. No, you. Uh, this is fun. I like doing dick. I like doing it that way. Okay, let me go back. All right, so let's see what. Now that I've spilled all my buttons and cleaned it up. Right. Uh, Jean Rowell asked, "How much was the train case?" Um, I got it for five dollars. And she's asking, "What store is it that you were talking about?" It's called a Creative Reuse Store. Yeah. And I think Angela's, the one in Angela's called the Creative Rescue. Or Creative Reuse or something like that. 
I'll get, I wrote Stacy. I'll get Stacy tell me the name of it. Okay, so I got these envelopes for 10 cents for the whole stack. Then I got these for 25 cents. Then I got this 18 yards of eyelet trim. And it looks like it's very tattered, and I liked it. Wow. And it's pretty tattered. I like this kind of stuff. Coffee diet. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. So I got that for four fifty. dollars And I got, I got little things for ephemeras. Like this is a contract score pad because you can put this for ephemeras on kits for $0.25. Cents. We got this guest book, sales book, for $0.25. Cents. Yeah, $0.25. Cents. And this is good. This is all good stuff for junk journals. Yep. And then I got these buttons for $0.25. Cents. That's the buttons I'm telling you that they are expensive in the China side for some reason. I don't know why. And let me show it to you. Look at this. I, I took the really tiny size. Can you see it? Hold on. I took the really tiny size. There are two, really, the, there's the smaller size. Can you see how small they are? And they don't cost one year over there like the other stuff. You can find buttons in... in in huge variations there with very really low price like 60 cents 60 cents half a dollar but those for some reason they are more expensive for the quantity you get how and many there are the tiny tiny ones how many if you, if you if you take it i don't know it was one and a half i mean the price and if you take a normal size and you can see how tiny they are they're a really tiny one and if you take the bigger size for example, these are the mother of pearls that I was telling you. Can you see? This pack costs one year, one dollar, one euro. And can you see how many it has? Because they are very thin. Yeah. They are very thin. So they look at this. This these things it had less and it cost more than it cost this one. I told you those buttons for some reason they are more expensive. And if you take that, those buttons in this size, oh boy, it can take two, three, four euros. It's, for some reason they are more expensive. I don't know why. Sorry for the interruption. You may continue. <laughs> yeah, I told you those buttons are expensive here for in China. In China. You know, wants to know, Angela. Uh huh. What is the email address you're, you are using for the Crafty Grow Stream? You don't have an email. No, it's a, are you talking about for a donation? Okay. And then I got these keys while she answers that. Those are pretty. Not pretty. Yep. The Crafty Grow Stream is a group on Facebook. And the class is just, we just go live every Friday, um, night at seven for the grocery, uh, here on YouTube. Um, if you guys are interested, yes, also, um, if you want to inquire, I know what she's talking about, I know what she's talking about. Hold up, let me get that email. Hold up, here we go. I'll just go to this way. Those are different from the previous ones. Yeah, this one's a smaller pack. And they are more the quality, I mean the buttons looks the same. Yeah, there's fair. They are, that was a good deal. One euro for all the buttons and how many? If you see you can read in a package how many they are, maybe twice in the back. Uh they don't say. Oh, okay. Not even that uh, barcode thing. No, it just says two inch lobster gold. They recycle bags. They recycle. For questions, I thought you made a Gmail email that. that I got it. I'm doing it right now. 
Okay, so these are little buttons that I picked up. And if anybody's interested in me grabbing this kind of stuff, I would have to go, um, um, you know, take you guys on a road trip. This weekend, I don't go too often because it's about an hour away from my house. Um, and I can go back in on the first of the month when Eric gets paid. But... Um, for these kind of things, if you guys are interested, I can do a live video and you guys can tell me what you guys want. And um, I invoice you based off the price that you guys see because the price you see is the price I have to pay. So this is the price I pay. So, um, yeah, I don't know how many buttons in here. I'll have to open it and check to see how many buttons are in here. I'm assuming this is like over 300 buttons. I don't know. But that's put it there. Yeah, I love the buttons. Yeah, I don't want to count. It's too many. <laughs> Nope. All right, let's keep on looking. So then I got the oilies for 25 cents. And I just ran the oilies and I got them for 25 cents. I like this one. And this is definitely more than a 25 cent doily. Yes, because it's tartan. Tartan ink. And I love the distressed look of this. This one here, I love it. This is this is my weakness right here, really. You want buttons? Okay, I can go in on the first of the month because that's when Eric gets paid, and I'll do a live and show you what I what they have, and you can tell me what they want, what you want, and then I'll just invoice you for. I'll do it on a weekend. I don't know when is the first. Ooh. Calendar. Okay, so Eric will get paid. I can go on the first, which is next Saturday. The Saturday, the first. The I first, can, the first is in two weeks. It's Saturday in two weeks. Yeah, it's, it, it's in June now. So not this coming Saturday. The following Saturday. Yeah, the Saturday after that. Yeah, I can do I can do a lot and show you what they have because they have like the doilies and then they have um, they have like little things like this twenty five cents for a yard. I mean you can't beat that. It's an eyelet trim. This is eight yards for two dollars. You can't really beat that kind of stuff. I didn't get a whole lot, but then they have this big old bag of buttons. Look at that one. A dollar. Yeah, that's a that's fun. That that right there. This is a, I love these colors like that. The iris and the browns and the blues. A dollar fifty. Well, ladies, I'm gonna get off here. I've got to start my day. Ugh. Hang on, and then, uh, but yeah, if y'all have any questions, you can do uh, inquire uh, at the Crafty Grow Stream info at yahoo.com. Also, um, I'm gonna put here in the chat if you would like to donate to the channel, uh, me and May um, work with and stuff. I'll put that link in there. Um, you can donate through PayPal. Let me get you that link, and then I'm gonna get you the link to the group. But see, donations keep us doing this. Um, they keep it, you know, where we can afford to do giveaways. Also, offer um, more business-oriented stuff for the grow stream and everything. So. It works out. It works out. All right. Here's the Facebook group. Just request to follow. And I will, may, I'll touch base with you later today. Okay, hon. All right. Bye. And then I got this pack of buttons for 50 cents. That's crazy. Isn't that beautiful? I just love buttons. Oh, look at that one for 50 cents. That's crazy. So I'm a button fanatic. I love buttons. Me too. I got this one too. 
yes, I think it could be cents. 50 cents and look how big those buttons are look at that that one's really nice that one's nice i love that one so i didn't get a whole lot but then i got this one seven yards for a dollar 75 and vanilla lip cream I got some cool buttons. Yeah, I'll try to get down there. They get a lot of buttons um, in their in their um, stuff, and I got okay. So then, then this is what I got. This is my last thing, and I got this one because I want to make a traveler's one journal using somewhat of a concept of this little folder, and I thought that would be really neat as a concept. You can do it that way, or you can do it this way. So I use that. I'm going to use this as a concept to making a, a journal. And then I like this. Well, I didn't like this. Aristi liked this one. <laughs> I take that back. Aristi liked this one. Are you kidding me? It was two dollars. Two dollars. The fuck here cost cost over seventeen. Christy liked this one. So graphic 45 for two dollars. Yeah, so we got that one in and I got this big thing of yarn because I or not thread. So I can do my button when I I like to do my buttons all in a stack. Um so yeah, that's what we got. But I have buttons and buttons and buttons galore. I am a button fanatic. I can't tell you how many buttons I probably could have done without buttons, but you can't say no to that price. And so we didn't say no to the price. <laughs> Just so you know, I didn't say no to the I can't pass up buttons. I love buttons. I'm a, I'm a fanatic. And I thought this was pretty good for 10 bucks. I mean, 10 bucks, 10, 10 cents. I would never pay 10. I'm cheap. Because we're on a we are on a budget. So I got one, two, three. That one has written on it, but it'll be covered. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen envelopes. I think these are for school. I remember report cards. Hey, weren't these are for report cards? Back in the day, they look like the report card one without the button, the holes. Yeah, a year. I don't know. I remember that for report cards. Um, for ten cents, so not bad. That's my little my daily haul. I think the most expensive thing I bought was my five dollar suitcase, and I was not about to let that go because I thought for five dollars, I'm taking that home. And of course, the eyelet trim for four fifty was those two were my biggest spendings. Not bad. Me? Huh? Look something. Huh? That I was telling you yesterday. Never say no to buttons. What? Look on the camera. What I was telling you yesterday. Hold on. If I, if I manage to. Uh, Oh yeah, the first thing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, geez. Come on. So I got this canvas ribbon. This is a canvas ribbon from mm -hmm. the China side. And it's measurements, not the prettiest one, but it's okay. So do you remember you had that trim buying from Hot Lobby? Here yeah. it is. Yeah. I took the buttons, those those buttons buttons they are extremely thin i mean they are nail cheap thin because they are called the mother of pearls and they are coming from the east side of the oysters and i stitch them on make that trim that you had and you love mm -hmm. and they don't, don't they don't sell it and the, and the ribbon was one uh, euro something because it's canvas and it's many many yards if you can see 
and the ribbon was one euro something, and the bathrooms were under 50 cents for a pack with many of them, 100 of them. So it only takes, you know, patience to go and do the stitching. Yeah. Yeah, they don't sell yeah, that. I, think I don't have done, I didn't do any notes behind it or nothing. It's just, uh, you know, plain in the back. Yeah, they had that, that was in the Hobby Lobby trim. And, and they you don't love that trim. Yep, I did, but they don't sell it anymore. It was expensive. It was like maybe two yards for like six fifty or eight dollars and I would buy it only and when you can make it for yourself for under two euros for yeah say, two I, only, I only bought it when it was at fifty percent off so I would pay like three fifty four dollars at the most is what I paid. I would not pay for and, and the ribbon is uh fifty yards I think the ribbon is a lot if you can see the, the ribbon is a lot of amount all that thing and it's canvas, it's fabric, it's not, uh, it's not satin, it's canvas. Anyway, I will put that aside. Yeah, it's, um, it's not, it's almost like a gross, gross cream, I think. That's what it's almost like. You know, this, I just got this stencil, I've used it just today for the first time. But the stickiness of it, I don't have to spray it because the stickiness of it has gone bad. Stickiness doesn't want to stick anymore. Yeah, I think that was a good deal too, Miss Jean. It was a great deal. <laughs> I can't complain about $5 for that suitcase because I know I've seen it at antique stores here. We have a town here that sells a lot of antiques and they sell those suitcases for a lot of money, for a lot of money. All right, so I am, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I did the envelope. You're not in the screen, put yourself on the screen. Okay. Okay. So I took my envelope from my bag, my glassing bag. I took some Prima. I used some distressing. This is a uh, a wax paper that I put wax on it and a doily and an old music sheet and distressed it. Here's a little vintage image. I haven't distressed it. I like to distress on a piece of wax paper. The reason being is that I can use this wax paper for something else later after it's been worn out so many times. And it's reused, recycle, reuse, right? I gotta change my sponge to start to get. That's why I don't, I don't use this too much because it's starting to crap out. And then the thing about this kind of stuff is just your layering and how you're going to layer it. Um, that's what gives it that unique look. And your color coordinates too. Huh? Jane, you say that she paid $20 for a train case. So you got a great deal, May. Yeah, I know. I read that. She said she paid 20 bucks. If I had gone to the antique stores here, I'm sure I would have paid more than $20 because our antique stores are very high. I mean, they're like lots of money. But that created, I'm, I'm surprised they had it there. Um, I'm sure somebody didn't even know what it was. I'm, the ladies that work there, some of them are young. And the girl that was tending to me, one of the girls that was tending to me, she was very young. So I'm sure she didn't know what she was handling. And then I took a piece of um, mud. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Let's put this here. Piece of cheesecake.
This is some images I got from someone on Etsy, but I, I said, you know, there's a lot of digital images out there. Jenny loves that little girl. Yeah, you can go on Pinterest and get a lot of these little digital images. Um, we got a lot of those on Pinterest. I did buy this one from someone on Etsy. I just don't remember what it was. I don't, to be honest. Normally when I remember, I let you guys know who it was. I, could, I guess I can look in my Etsy account and tell you who it was because it wasn't too far, too long ago that I bought it, but I just don't remember who it was. I don't remember names even to save my life. I, if it's not someone I normally buy from all the time, like I remember Victoria Designs, I remember um, Nostalgia. Um, I remember the vintage garden, the ephemera vintage garden. I remember those ladies because I buy quite often from them. I would love to watch you alter it. Please consider doing it live. Oh, the suitcase. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I will you alter do a screen with that. Yeah, I'll I would I will I am gonna alter it, so I will do it live. Absolutely. It will be for sure altered. Uh, I'm so bad with names that once I even forgot my boyfriend's name. No way. We were together for over a month. I'm not kidding. This is a true story, ladies. So, we were together for over a month, living in the same house for over a month, okay? And then we were in the town, uh, and I... I met my bestie there. We crushed, how do you say? We, you know, bumped, how do you say? So I had to introduce him because she, he, he, I have talked to her about him, but she didn't saw him before. So I have to introduce him to her and her to him. So I start talking and uh, I start talking about her. And I was rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. And in my head, I had a dialogue and I was trying to figure out his name. <laughs> so I started, oh, here's my best friend. She's Zina. She's amazing. She's an English teacher. He's Stani, Stani, Stani. He lives in the apartment above me. And she has an amazing daughter. And her daughter is so smart and so clever. And her daughter is Elaine. And she, the daughter is Stani. You will love her daughter. And she has a baby and she's stunning and she's so good and she's so nice and we are best friends and i know her for a couple of years and i was talking and talking and talking and in my head i was in my head i was like that what's his name 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 <laughs> oh my god what is his freaking name my brain was dying inside what's his name what's his name what's his name so he had a name and a last name that they both sound like names, like, uh, let's say, George Jonopoulos. The, the, the Jonopoulos sounds like John. Okay. So instead of me, at some point, I continue rubbling and rubbing and rubbing, and at some point I say, oh, I got it. And instead of saying George Jonopoulos, I went to say John Georgopoulos. And right before that stupid thing comes from my mouth he probably realized that i couldn't remember his name or something so he introduced himself <laughs> he said okay arist will take an hour to continue rubbing i'm george uh, nice to meet you and he say i'm zina nice to meet you and all this time i was what's his name what's his name what's his name and i was living with that guy over a month <laughs> okay what do you do every morning when you wake up you introduce yourself to the person next to you <laughs> i couldn't remember his name i i once i was in a school when i was in nursing school we have a secretary there for two three years i was calling her uh anna Hi, Anna. How are you, Anna? What's up, Anna? 
Guess what? Her name is not Anna. What was her name? I don't know. <laughs> she told me. She told me many times. You never found out her name? She told me many times. I don't remember it. And you still don't remember it? No. Oh, my God. I'm bad with names. Like, if someone introduced, I'm in, being introduced for the first time to somebody. I had to try to make a mental note to memorize that person's names because I have ADD, so I space things out. Not that I'm spacing, that the conversation is not important to me. It's just that my brain has got a lot of things going on, and I can't focus on what was just told to me. And so I have to try to say to myself, focus, focus, focus. And, but, you know, I, the chances of me forgetting your name are very high. Okay, so here we go. We got this. And I try to color coordinate everything. And I try to do a good composition and make sure the layers are perfectly good. And then I try to line things in um, to make sure it's fitting. I like that button in the middle because it looks like it's, yes, that one, because it looks like it's patina. Like yeah. It has patina on it. Yeah, it's it patina. It does. And you know what? I don't know, I don't know if I have any more. If I find one, I'll send you one. I don't know. No, I so you can perfect set. My buttons of stuff. I love buttons. I have an obsession with buttons. Um, I do. I do. Session just so that you guys think that I'm we're not just sitting here talking we're actually creating something <laughs> i've been trying to create something for a bit now and i like to see my little threads i i just love leaving my threads hanging because it's a one of a kind. It's limited edition. <laughs> limited edition. You're not going to get another one because I'm not going to have the same buttons and I'm not going to have the same paper. Limited edition. But that is it it's right there. Cute. Very cute. That's pretty, and I like the stamp. The stamp, I use actually a stencil. The stamp on the top corner. Oh, the stamp, yeah, it went really well. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, did, I did go ahead and get some, I'm gonna get my computer scanned uh, on my printer connected to my computer so I can scan the stamps that I got and give it to you guys in the group so you guys aren't buying these. So I got like a thousand of them. Um, and I'm just going to try to scan um, I scan them for you guys uh, so you guys can use these in your stuff. And I like the way that one turned out. I think this was one of my favorites. It's really, really cute. That one I, got. I like the bees. Huh? I like the bees one. The bees one, yeah. I gotta get you that that thing. I think what I'm gonna do, I'll I'll tell you, I'll tell you later on um, Facebook what I'm gonna do. Thank, thank you, Miss Jamie. And the chops appear to me. Guess yeah. what? It's raining again. Today is a sunny day, and I think here in a bit, I'm probably going to go. And, uh, I'm going to air out all my windows because we have animals, and I don't like the smell of animals in my house. And I want to air out the house and get fresh. It's the first day in a long time that we've had no rain here. So here in a bit, I'm probably going to go <clears throat> and air out my downstairs and get my downstairs clean. But these are really cute if you make your own wax glassine bags to insert tags for your journals. Um, very affordable. 
you get a thing of wax paper and make your own little glass. I told you here our wax paper is white and milk. We don't call it wax paper, we call it cooking paper. We put it in the oven underneath the food so the food would stuck on the pan like cookies for example and we call it cooking paper and it's not transparent it's really have... white and you can see through it like this one is what we have no, it's not like that you can see your head ours you can see your hand oh you got parts of right your hand yeah this is what i use i just cut it at about eight and a half inches and you can cut it out and make your own little glass in the back or you can go to, um, these are a little pricey, well, 100 bags for about $8 on Amazon. But you can make a lot more with these if you just do it yourself, cut it out and do it yourself. Um, it, it just takes a lot more time to do it this way. But you can run this through the printer. Um, you can't run it like, like this, you can't do it. Like this, you can because like this, um, the glossiness of it, it's too waxy and the printer ink is not gonna get to it. But if you dye it, coffee dye it, and then run it through your printer with a, like take a printer's paper and take some um, double-sided tape and then run it through. Uh, if my printer was connected, I would do it. But if you did it that way, you can do a double-sided with coffee dye because you want to get the, the wax uh, with um, hot coffee so it will make, make the wax yeah you can cut it to size with this whatever size you want but you want to make sure you get that wax uh, fill the wax film that's the word I want to use you want to make sure you get the wax film and if you just take hot water and take an old pan that you're not going to use for anything else because you're going to get that wax on it and use it just for this. Like I have a pot that I use for when I'm doing wax paper. And then just run it and run it through your paper printer. Um, but what I would do is take a paper, like a copy paper, and do some double sided tape. Let me see over here. I hate having a small workspace. <clears throat> take some double sided tape. Like, this is not double sided tape. This one. It's double sided tape. And then just put it on. And that way, when you're running it through the printer, it's not getting stuck. So you really want to stick to that kind of stuff. But. Um, this one I liked, I don't know how much, I think she let me have this for 10 cents. I don't know. But this one I like because this one, they didn't, might, have another one. they didn't have another one, but I want to recreate this. And I try to order some of these. What I think I'm going to, cause I have elastic. I think if I get a piece of, um, but they're expensive, like you can order it on Amazon or you can get the Tim Holtz, but the Tim Holtz is expensive. <clears throat> but you can get these little metal fasteners on Amazon, but they're like, I don't know, I think they were $15 for, I don't know how many. Um, so I'm on the hunt. You can just do a knot there. You don't yeah. have to. Yeah, you can do that or a button. You can attach a button that's like those flat buttons that you have. Mm. You know, those mother of pearl buttons you have that are really, really thin. Um, you can put one of those or a button because this is probably about this, the width of a button. Put a button on here. Or it'll keep it from, remove, you know, going anywhere. So that's what, I, what I'm going to do because I tried to order and I got, I got the wrong thing sent to me. And... Um, I'm not paying the price that they're asking for on Amazon for those. And I'm not buying Tim Holtz because you only get a couple and I already have a big roll of elastic. So what's the point of buying that if I have a big roll of elastic? 
I'm trying to use what I have here. That's that's the thing. So, um, they got this big old thing of elastic, and I don't want to waste. I'm going to recreate this just a tad bit, make another one. Um, but anyway, I'm going to jump off, ladies, because i got to go air out my windows um, and clean up downstairs so that I can finish my homework. I will probably, if I finish my homework, I'll probably and get my house somewhat decent to clean. I'll probably jump on here later. Okay? You guys have a great weekend. Aristi, I'll talk to you later. Okay, it's Sunday here. I know. But you're, you're Sunday evening. I'm Sunday morning. Yeah, it's, it's 6.30. Yeah, ours is it's uh, 10.23 in the morning here. It's not too bad. You're... You're ending your night. Hello, Deborah. Um, Hi, Deborah. How are you? Um, you're, and guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to each other, make sure Aristi needs hours. If you guys can grab Aristi, you need to comment on there so they can uh, get you your channel and watch your videos because you need subscribers as well as watch hours. Well, because I closed YouTube because I have a really bad connection. So I have to go again in YouTube. Hold on, let me let me see if I can grab your channel. Hold on, hold on. Let me get you. Let me get your channel, guys. We're risking these watch hours, but she if you want to subscribe to her channel, please do so. Be good. Please <laughs> watch out. She's got everything on playlists. Um, everything is on her playlist. But if you haven't subscribed to her channel, please do so. She needs some massive watch hours to keep active. Okay. It's because I haven't been active for so long. Yeah. Yep. So make sure you guys hit her up. Watch a couple of her videos. She's got a lot of junk journal videos she does. She does a lot of beautiful junk journals. Um, and... Um, Thank you. Watch her. Big watch her. Put her on your playlist. Um, you don't have if you don't want to watch, just mute it and walk away, clean your house. That's what I've been doing. She's got several playlists, so I just put a playlist and let it run. Um, and that's what I Thank do. you, Jimmy. Thank you, man. Get her those watch hours. You're welcome. So, I've been watching this week, but I will watch today. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. And, yeah, Miss Janie, I, I plan to go to the, the Creative Reuse store this this coming, not this Saturday, the following Saturday. I will I'll do, a, like, a Facebook thing or maybe a, a YouTube Live or something so you guys can see. They have those watch books, too. Um, uh, where you can get the swatches. This is one fabric that I got too, and I want, I want to make a, a journal with this one. It's like a quilt. Isn't that pretty? It's already quilted, kind of. Um, but it's denim, and I've been wanting to do like, I had done a denim one um, in 2013. If I find it, I think I gave it to Miss Debarb. I did a denim uh, journal, 2013, um, and I'll have to find it. But I liked it, and I liked me making denim. And I think I made one for Eric too. I'll have to find that. He should have that in the garage somewhere or in the attic. Aristi tracing paper would be also good for. Yeah, she uses tracing plate paper. Yeah, she's the one that told me tracing papers, um, that she uses tracing paper to make her glass scenes. So, yeah. All right, ladies. I really need to get, if I get my house cleaned, 
And if you guys want to play late, and I, if I get my house clean, homework done, we can play later tonight. So let me go get my homework done, get my house clean, and then we can play. Tim Holt is on sale at Hobby Lobby this week. What? Christy, Tim Holt is on sale. What's the sale? Wait a minute. I got to go check. Okay, Jamie, Jamie, run. You have to take Buford, you know. Run, Jamie, run. Wait a minute. I don't have any moolah this week. I have moolah next week. Tim Holtz is pricey for me right now. I send you links with the prices here. I send you links. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. If it's the prices here are too much for me, I can't imagine paying ten dollars for an ink pad. Heck no. Okay, so let's go with the sailor. I know they should be getting for seventy-five. I guys, seriously, I would not be buying too much Tim Holtz right now, because let me tell you, um, here in the next two weeks. Hobby Lobby will be doing their 75% off because I was where I worked at Hobby Lobby. Give it two weeks and you're probably going to see their Tim Holtz, all their craft stuff at 75% off. Let's see what their sale is. Hold on. Oh God, I can't see. E right here, Tim Holtz. Oh, um, so if something was $4.99, you're going to get it for $2.99. So it looks like it's about 40% about off. It's 40% off right now. That means they're fixing to, let me see if they got that. Oh, Aristi, look what came in. What? Where? Where should I look? Oh, got me paper from that. I will. Yeah, everything's 40% off. That's what I'm getting. It's 40% off. I'm trying to see if they got that tag die, but I don't see it. I don't see it. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Hi, Miss Joyce. Good morning. Joyce, Joyce, Joyce. Where are you, you body woman? Ha. <laughs> Oh, uh, look what Miss Janie says. I would love to get you Tim Holtz, even if I don't get Buford. Wait until I get some money. Oh. That's the thing. <laughs> I told the girls you should do a collaboration. And you should gather together the girls that you like Buford and gather together and put your money and go and get me the Prima stuff or the Tim Holtz stuff. And then you will buy him and have him with switch. One day you will have him, the next day the next girl, and the next day the girl's the girl. And that way you won't get bored. This coming week or last week, what's this? Okay, uh, Evelyn, I got this one on a D stash group on Facebook that Aristi tagged me on. What was it? Five or five dollars or three dollars? I think three. Okay, yeah. I will be lying. I will be lying. Yeah, because I'm a little cheap. And so... Um, it was really, really cheap. Yeah, it was very cheap. And I'm cheap. And so I don't normally pay... I won't... Well, especially now that I know... I know this time of year, um, Hobby Lobby is going to be getting all their... Um, the sale starts tomorrow. I know that... Like, don't buy too much craft stuff because, because of creativation coming all these companies are going to start buying all the new stuff so hobby lobby give it about two weeks they should start marking everything down 
And once they start marking things on at 75%, you guys are going to get some awesome deals. So give it two, two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, it's the scrapbook deals group, um, Evelyn. Uh, and you have to be still careful with some sellers because some sellers can be shady and scammers like any other place. But um, this person shipped really, really fast. She's got tons more available. Um, but yeah, she's uh, safe. This one is safe. She's, yeah, she's great. Safe. She shipped to me really fast and I got everything that I wanted from her. Yeah, she sipped so fast that I told her to switch something and she couldn't because that lady had already sipped it. Yeah, she, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she shipped, she shipped really, really fast. But yeah, you have to be really careful with who you buy from, even on Facebook, because there's been a couple people that have gotten scammed. Uh, scrapbook Deals Group. Here, let me find a link to that post. Hold on. I'll add you, Evelyn. It's a girl that sold it to me. She I think this kid is called Bird and Peonias. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that was an epiphany. I <laughs> got now. I'm making an envelope. Oh, I'm so freezing here. I will have to get up. Yeah, it's called Birds, Beats, and Peonias. Yep, I found it. Hold on. Which one? The one that you have? the kit that I'm using now that you ask the name from Tsunami Rose. Oh yeah, birds. Okay. Okay, so birds and peonies. peonies. I'm gonna um look in this group. Why is it that oh there it is. What Hollanda means? Let's do what? Hollanda, see. Holanda? Yeah, what Holanda means. Where did you see Holanda? Here, see on my screen. Holanda? I think that's a country, isn't it? That's Holland, not Holanda. That's Holland know. in the Netherlands. Is that Tim Holt stuff? That I have. Is that this is a distress no, this the is a distressing. The Holanda, where did you get it from? From the kit, it's the ephemera things. Okay, it's she, from the birds, beats, and pennies, and it's the ephemera kit. I think that's part of the country, Holanda, Hollandia, whatever you call it. Holland is the country, and the country is Netherlands in English. The Holland, the country that we call Holland, is the Netherlands, it's not Holanda. Yeah, I think there is a country named Holanda. There isn't a country named Holanda. It's Holland without the well, A in the end. It might have been in the old days and they changed the name because, you know, the name. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, seriously, they changed the names. They do. They've changed the names over the years. Hold no, on. I'm trying to find this lady. The lady that you tagged me on that sold this guy. I guess I will go through my PayPal and probably find it. You can find it in your notifications if you go to the list on your notifications. Yeah, but I don't, my notification doesn't seem to go back really far. You can click on so more. Hold on. I'm a little late. I hate scrolling. I'm like, I'm, I'm the impatient shopper. <laughs> yeah, notice that when you go shopping. I mean, she goes to the store and says, oh, there's nothing nice here today, nothing nice here today, nothing nice here today. Without, you know, start digging and digging and digging and digging. No, no. Just look from afar, look at from a distance and say, no, nothing nice. She doesn't have to pay the patient to start uh, searching and searching and searching and digging in the baskets and all that stuff one by one. No. no, I don't. And I don't like my hands to get dirty either. Yeah, he, he was complaining the whole time. It's dirty. They have dust. It's dirty. They have dust. I mean, take baby wipes with you. Wipe your hand whenever you feel dust. <laughs> it's way. It's okay. 
it's dirty. They have dust. It's dirty. They have dust. I mean, I don't want to be her husband. If it's dirty, I don't like to touch it. Like, I don't like to get my hands into something. I don't know what people has. Cooties. They might have cooties. So I bet maybe you don't like dirty sex. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me look at photos. I'm trying to find that for you, Evelyn. Uh, here found her oh how quick that was really quick because she had an album a margin doll yep. okay i'll tell you how much i paid for it five dollars is what i paid but i didn't pay any shit, uh tax there that's the link there is one name that is there a country name that I think there is a country name that I'm pretty sure there was. Put put the put the cover on me. Hold on a second. I'm gonna look this country up. So they will see. Put the cover on me. Holanda. Hold on. Yeah, it's the A. Can you see? Holanda. It's a moon in the end. Yes. Like the country, it's Holland. Like Holland, the Spanish. It's I think it's translated to Spanish. The country, it's Holland, like that. But like Holland. it's called Holanda, Hollandia. And it's called Netherlands in English, in not Spanish, Holland. In Spanish, it's called Holanda, Netherlands. Okay, if that's Spanish, that's. Yeah, Daisy has uh, Spanish roots, so yeah. maybe. That's probably why, because she put it in Spanish. It's called the Netherlands. Uh, can you D me? Can you what? Can you D? Can you add me too, please? Yeah, I'll add you to the group now. Hold on. She's going to have to approve you guys. Oh, Evelyn, you're already a member. The scrapbook deals group. Okay, Jean, are you as Jean here? I'm probably not going to be able to add you because I don't think Jean were friends on Facebook. Here's the group, Jean. I don't think we're friends on Facebook. That's the group. I get a lot of these stuff. There's a couple groups on Facebook that I get stuff really, really cheap, and I like I, I before I pay full price for anything, I'm checking these groups to see if there's anybody that's getting rid of it. And now and yeah, both, both new dice are new. The the stuff that she sells are new, they are not used. Hi Tori, we haven't seen you around for a while. How are you, Tori? Hi, Alexander, how are you? So let me tell you, um, before I, I buy anything, especially now with all the new products coming out, people are going to be de-stashing massively, massively. So you need to check these Facebook groups that have scrapbook de-stash stuff. There's a couple. There's a lot of them, actually. But you got to make sure you get a seller look to see that there's no complaints because there's a lot of people who are going to be de-stashing their stuff with all the new products coming out. And you want to make sure you grab those people before you even I popped in I pop in occasion. I know, I know I haven't seen you in our chats. Um, I know you watch us because you're always sharing our videos and I appreciate that. How's the baby? Tori is making beautiful um, dresses with the ribbons and tassels. She's making beautiful um, um come on, wake up. Beautiful dresses. Is she? Yeah, haven't you seen it? It makes them so easy. It's just ribbons and it looks like a dress. Ribbons and tassels and laces, trims, thin trims. And it uh, make it look like a dress. Haven't you oh, seen them? She, she, she said she just moved two miles from the grandbabies. Aww. How's he, how's he doing? Is he doing good?
he was her grandbaby was born really premature very premature i think she was like five months pregnant wasn't she six months pregnant he's doing amazing oh that's awesome that is so awesome so glad to hear it that is awesome oh you got a butterfly i like that is did that kid have a butterfly no it's a, a bee i mean a bee sorry I'm trying to find what word it will be i like the size of this word Holanda, but i don't like what it writes it's relative it's too big. It looks nice more the size is better no i think it's big. i like that one i think that one's more suitable because it's the big one no the little one the paradise yeah paradise with the like it's more and it's, a, it's an envelope that i made from scratch from a page with no tools if you see it it's just an envelope that i make from scratch from a page with no tools you may know you didn't use your little uh, envelope Three no, no, no. Oh, he was born. He was so he was born at six months. Two pounds, fifteen ounces. Wow. Yeah, I would put it back in that corner you had it and put the small letter, the small words. It's more suitable because you want the the focus to be on the B and not on the word. I think it, it looked more suitable. I think. He was born three months early. Wow. He was a he was a blessing. How many pounds does he weigh now, Miss Tori? Because I know for a while there Jim wasn't um he wasn't gaining weight. And I'm going to try to do the tutorial on this this week. I just got swamped with school. I'm going to try to do the tutorial on this this week. I know I owe you guys that tutorial. On what? On that journal we did the other night. Oh. We were trying to figure out while we were live. Like these little scraps, I don't even like throwing these away. because I think these are just... Yeah, that was more suitable. Yep. I like that one. I don't know what the words are saying, but I like that size. It says paradise. Oh. I told you that you have to see through StreamYard because the quality that comes from YouTube, because I have bad speed, it's really bad. So it reads paradise. The words is paradise. It has this one in red that writes peonias, birds, birds in blue bees in red and the holland thing holanta <laughs> holanta oh my god he weighs 15 pounds now his tongue was tied in three places when they snipped it he began eating thank you for praying oh you don't need to worry about it may you get settled with school first uh, thank you. That is, that is, we know what they caught it on time because at least they caught it before he starts talking. Well, he's going to be a year old in July, right? So they caught that in time. That's a good thing that they caught it in time. Mm. July, I thought so. July 9th. See, I got a good memory. I keep up with that. I keep up with you guys. I might look like I'm busy, but I do think about, you know, I think about all you guys. Like right now, I'm worried about Miss Patricia because I haven't seen her around. 
Miss Penny, I got to hear from her the other day. Of course, Miss Carol passed away. And, you know, I do try to keep up with you guys here and there. I might get a little busy with stuff, but I try to keep up with some of you guys. Miss uh, Miss Jackie was just in the hospital. Miss Jackie Huff. She's doing better now, thank God. Um, but yeah, Miss Jean, I just sent you the link. Here's the link to that group. Join it since I see you on the chat. Join that group right there. That's where you get really good deals. I don't know if you're in it already. Hello, Lourdes. Good morning. Did I not just talk to you? Lourdes. At one o'clock this morning. Lourdes, Lourdes, Lourdes. Patricia has posted some stuff. Yeah, I saw her comment, but I, you know, I worry about her a little bit because um, I know that she starts to get into her fibro and all the pain that she's dealing with. She hasn't. Don't forget to hit these thumbs up. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to send her a quick little message because it concerns me. Because I know she gets into her um, her pain. Her pain gets to be really unbearable. I kept you up all night. No, you did not say that. She did not go there, ladies. Lourdes. Can you believe that, Aristi? She's blaming me for her staying up all night. Lourdes, Lourdes, Lourdes. Because we just did this one this morning. I look, I only did one thing this morning. Did this one. She says she just booked up, so what are you saying? Hey um Lourdes, give um if you can grab Aristi's channel, give her some watch hours. She needs what guys grab Aristi's YouTube channel. She needs watch hours. Here's her channel. Hold on, I'm gonna post it again. Lourdes, Lourdes, Lourdes. And if you click on Aristi's channel, she's got on her playlist. If you click on her playlist, she's got, like, I'm going to play one because I go by. She's got one that's got 71. You watch that one, it has Happy Mail. It'll take you on for a couple hours. Um, just click all. Mute it, like right now I have it running. You can mute it and just keep playing it while, you know, giving her some kind of watch hours. She's got to have her 4,000 watch hours so she can get some kind of monetization. Monetization. No, I'm monetized. I'm just, some kind of just on the limit. I'm just, I'm just on the limit to get demonetized because I'm uh, 4,000 and some change, you know, just a bit so you never know which day this will happen. Because I haven't been active for a long time. I haven't yeah. been active since summer. That's my fault. But Plus, I can't do live streams because, as you see here, my internet speed is so bad quality. So when I do live streams, you can't see anything. So it's pointless. The ladies can't see what I'm doing because of my internet speed. So I can do live streams to boost my hours because when you do live streams, you boost your hours. So we just did this one here. Anyway, that's all I did. I, I didn't do too much today. Um, but yeah, if you guys can hit Aristi and hit her up. So is it your internet that's messing up? I have really slow bad speed. It's 0 0.5, 0 0.5 the upload speed. Oh. And 0 0.5, 0.5. And imagine that most of you will have 10, 11, and I have 0 0.5. It's in this neighborhood, it's in this street that it's happening. And uh, two streets above, they have fiber. Imagine that, they even have fiber. And I don't even have ADSL. Two streets above, they have fibers, so they have really, really fast speeds because there are banks, there are grocery stores, there are schools, like college, there are 
it's 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 the neighborhood here because it's not a high demand neighborhood, so they haven't upgraded the network here. That's how it goes. Yeah. So you guys, you guys just need to hit her up. Hit her up. And I pay for twenty four. That's the fine, the fun stuff. That you pay for twenty four. And they tell you up to 24, up to 24. So it will be zero and, you know. And the quality, the and, and the camera is good because you can see it in the chat, for example. The camera is good and the laptop is not bad, but it's just the internet speed. You just have really bad internet speed and there's not much you can do for that. Unless you get no, no, I can change. I can change provider because the same the other provider also takes from the same lines. It's the yeah. neighborhood. It's the neighborhood. It doesn't have to do with the provider or change companies or something. It's the lines are there, and in this street, they provide that speed. Take it or leave it. It's like that. Oh yeah. Our friend Aristi is limited to her internet provider. So and you, you can change it. It's like that. You can do anything about it. It doesn't have to do with your the internet provider in in general if you change companies. No, it's the lines that come here are slow and they are not fibers. Because when you have fibers, it's faster. Okay. Well. You I'm make the laying so quickly, so fast, so easy. It takes me a gazillion years and you make it like that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I think it just, I don't know. Hey, it's come easy to you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to find your, your niche. You, what you, what what you feel is the right thing for you like it would take me forever to do a mixed media layout whereas just it's a lot easier yeah this comes a lot easier for me because it's something that i i i like it's, it's natural for you yeah and it's it's just it's easier for me, because it's something I actually like. If it was something that I, if it's, when it's something I don't like, I struggle with it. But I even say, like, this is that image that we were going to use a bit ago. It's got wax on it. And even that would look cute. I don't know if I used fabric for that. Oh, I know what it was. It was the backing of something that I printed it out on. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to go air out my house, clean my windows. I have a wristy plane in the back. So if you guys can play her in the back as well, give her some watch hours. I'm going to go play, um, play a wristy, which I'm already doing air out my windows, do my homework, and if I get everything done, I will pop in and say hello to you guys. Um, and, and maybe, 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 I don't know what I'm going to make, but we'll make something. I don't know. No, we're not making it. We'll make something. It's not that you have any lack of imagination. <laughs> I sometimes I do. Oh. Sometimes I do. I do. Sometimes I, I I try to figure out what am I going to do. I don't know what to do. I'm going to see if I find those albums. If I ever can climb up on the attic and find me those albums that I need. One was an envelope album I did in 2010, and one was the Gene. I know the one Gene album. I gave it to our Gene Journal. I gave it to Miss D Bard. And then um, the one album I made for him was in 2014, 2000, no, 2013. 
there was a den on one with using authentic paper. And I did it for a design team project that I had. I was in a design team then. To see if he has it. <sighs> yeah, guys. Boy, she don't want me anymore. That boring, nasty woman. She doesn't love me anymore. She doesn't love you. Is that no, she's you cheating on me. She's cheating on you? Yep. Oh, shame on her. You want yep. Me, do you want me to put her on the naughty list? That doll looks Beautiful. creepy, doesn't she? That doll looks creepy. <laughs> yeah. That doll looks real creepy. I don't know why I say that. And she looks creepy. Oof. Oof. I don't like creepy dolls. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to go get my housework done, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. And um, see? She doesn't even say hi. She say hi to Luder, so not to me. <laughs> I will create some more layers on how um, you got a lot of scraps. Why don't you just do your layers with your scraps, Aristi? Where? Don't you have scraps and stuff when you're cutting? Yeah. You see, that's the thing. I can't. I I don't do layers. That's the thing. That's the thing I told you. All right, guys. That's going to be my next layer. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go check my house and air out windows and clean, clean some dust bunnies. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Have a blessed day. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day.